And I was like, Xavier, welcome to me not being a creepy creeper in the slightest. Not in the slightest. Uh, insidious -ness, uh, though. I took a little bit of time, I went through my inventory, I put on some more equipment and armor here. I'm looking pretty snazzy. I'm not wearing pants or boots because they lower my charisma and I want to keep that as high as possible. Uh, I also went through and I decided what I'm going to do on... You know what? I really need to start a timer here uh, as I do this really quick. There we go. Okay. Uh, now, and I went through and I figured out what I'm going to do with my skills. So let's come in here and let's go to the main level skills. And I think I decided I'm going to go for, let me open these up to make sure. I have two points. Uh, increases the time you can do without sleep. Your energy levels fall one quarter more slowly. That just seems like a straight up buff to the amount of things I can get done in a day. I am definitely going to take that. Uh, voila. And then I'm going to leave my other skill point until I'm currently level 5, I believe, in this. If I were to shut this down, yeah, level 5. At level 6, there's a couple of... I want this burger thing, I believe. Uh, in towns and villages in their immediate vicinity, you get a plus 1 bonus on strength, agility, vitality, or speech. It's either that or savage, which is the opposite, which is in the wilds, you have plus 1. I've basically only been in towns. I'm not sure what percentage of the game I'm going to spend in towns versus... Uh, in cities, but I imagine I'll be in cities quite a bit. Then again, I really don't know. I kind of want to be a woodsman. I really started this campaign being someone who wanted to sneak around in the forest at night with an arrow, and I've ended up becoming like a person who Dumbledore is around with a sword in the daytime, getting into all kinds of fights and making noise. Oh my god, uh, it's such a disgrace. But you know what? That's how life is. You don't always get to do what you want to do. Uh, for all of these things here for strength, I decided I don't want to do Grave Digger. I want to do, I think, Clinch Master. It gives you one-third higher chance of overpowering your opponent in a clinch. Now, I don't really know exactly what that is, uh, but it seems like a good idea to me to take it since I don't know anything about it. I only have one point here in agility for Featherweight. Falling will cause you to lose 30% less injury. That sounds actually awesome. I'll take that because I've already suffered two broken legs from falling down, like, a staircase or something ridiculous. Uh, and then for a Vitality here, I'm thinking... I want to be able to run faster to get away from people, uh, but doing so means I can't run. The one time I did run from Milan, he chased me down and tackled me. I want to actually be able to run away from people. Uh, so I want to take Sprinter. Sure, I'll be able to run uh, for less time, but if I can get away faster, there's a chance I'll be able to separate and hide in a bush or something and disappear. Uh, so that's indeed what I want to take. A sprinter. We run 20% faster, but 20% less, st or we use 20% more stamina while doing it. Oh, perfect. And then lastly, speech. Uh, you can. I'm not going to take final offer because I don't really do much haggling. It just seems kind of boring to do it. You only make like a little bit of money. I'm sure it's worth it if you don't value your time or your life at all. Uh, but I'm definitely not uh, of the opinion that I should be sitting around haggling with a computer game for five cents. So I'm either going to take highborn, which gives me plus three speech when talking to nobles and wealthy people, or lowborn. And I'm thinking, you know, I am definitely lowborn. I am, like, look at me, for God's sakes. I am the lowest of lowborns, uh, as they can possibly be, apparently. Uh, so I think that's a good idea. And plus, I'm sure, just statistically speaking, there's a lot more lowborn. So this will come in handy more often. At the same time, though, uh, getting on the good side of a highborn once in a while. Like, say, like, say... Uh, Hans, who I'm about to go hunting with as soon as I'm done screwing around in here. This actually might be pretty smart. Uh, yeah, it's so tough to decide, honestly. I was going to do Lowborn until I opened it up, but then I realized I could use Highborn right now to get on Hans, Hans's good side. I'm probably going to go with the uh, Nobles and Wealthy. Let's do I'm a Highborn! Yep, just like real life. Very Highborn. <laughs> yeah. Uh, in any event, that's all done, and let's get on out of here and let's hit ye old map, and let's swing up to, say, here. Uh, how do I get up there? You can't fast travel from this location. Why the heck not? What are you talking? What are you talking about? You can't fast travel. What, do I have to get out of the house or something? Is that... I'm still not completely sure on, like, some of the finer points of the mechanics of this game. Can I just go outside and fast travel? I mean, the sun's already up, so I'm, I'm a little bit late here as it is. I may not even make it by morning. There we go. So I click on that. You want to fast travel to this location, except... Uh, ee, there's Don! Oh, God! Oh, God! I've already missed Don. Hopefully... And plus, I'm kind of outside. i got to go right back in through the gate here, and that's where I need to be. Turn right around. 
All right, Hans, let's hit this hunting, shall we? Never mind that I'm 45 minutes late, keeping you waiting. What is he? Uh, hold on. I think I feel like I'm missing something here. I'm like literally on top of him. Is he? Where the heck is he? Oh, here he is. He's just bored out of his mind, waiting for it. He looks pretty excited, huh? Now, one thing I really wanted to do was get a bow, but I can't afford one, and I'm not sure where there is one. Someone had told me in the last comment that I could have got one from the last town. But alas, I don't know where there is one right now, uh, and the archery range one. So I'm just going to go out hunting with no bow. Hopefully that works for me. Or he'll give me one, maybe. Oh, God. Here, here we go. Super doofer extraordinaire. Let's do it. Here I am. I'm overjoyed. <laughs> Have you got a horse? No, sir. Where would someone like me get a horse? Good point. Yeah, take Unless that. Unless it was a cart horse, I suppose. Well, you'll just have to trot along behind me like a good dog. Uh, should I even ask him to borrow a horse? I don't think I'm going to ask him to borrow a horse, actually. I'm just going to say, all right. You know, he's going to put me through stuff, and I'm going to do it, and he's going to appreciate that I do it. Whatever you say. You learn... Hans Capon. Hello. Yeah, I think, like, it feels like that should have been my horse if I had asked for it, but... Oh, uh, you learned hunt. Oh, here we go. We got two dogs with us. Hey, let's hit N really quick and look at this hunt thing that they're talking about. Maybe there's some information in here I might need. Hunting was always a source of meat and fur is mainly for the lesser nobility. With the aristocracy, courtly hunting was more for enjoyment. Being much cheaper entertainment than tournaments while providing similar thrills. And became a favorite pastime, and chasing game with dogs became almost a ritual. Hunting weapons were similar to those used in battle. Bows, crossbows, spears, daggers. Dogs were used to track and chase down game until the exhausted animal stood its ground in the last defense. Then came the moment for the hunters. Up till then, only following the sound of the baying hounds. To down the animal with an arrow or speeder. Okay, I can still do it, maybe, with a sword. Finishing off on the ground was done with a sword or dagger. There you go. Falconry. Hunting with a falcon originating in the Orient and other specifically trained raptors, goshawks, and sparrowhawks was more of a fashion, a pursuit for both men and women. The poorer classes were not allowed to hunt in the forest, subject to strict penalties, with the exception of hare hunting. All right, whoa, Hans, what the, slow the heck down, Fred. Ooh, look at this, guys. The sun is dawning on this new hunting day. We got fighter here doing little particle effects. We got rain dropping. I don't know if you can see the rain because of the compression, but who knows? We got some uh, hounds running. Hounds is all super yellow. He's got a horse matching his shirt. That's always the sign of a very manly man when his horse's shirt matches his own Let's shirt. Yeah. Let me tell you, up, <laughs> he's enjoying this thoroughly. And you know what? Fine. I'll let him have. I'll let him have it. I love how the rain makes everything glisten. In most games, I feel like rain is just incredibly stupid looking. It's a little bit like that, because it's a little over-the-top glistening. But it's better than in most games. But anyway, yeah, like I was trying to say before, when I had a horse and I'd go horse riding, I always made sure... Look here, blacksmith. About that business at the alehouse. Oh, yes, there we sir. go. Hanush was right. I should have behaved differently. Really? More, well, gentlemanly. But that doesn't mean you were in the right. You can't throw a lord out of the tavern in his own town. <laughs> Understand? Yes. I, I was just... What? Speak up! Don't worry, I won't bite your head off. It's just that when you said those things in the arena, sir, I, I was um, a little upset. Ah! I just like to tease Greenhorns a little. And you vexed me too. You were insolent to Captain Bernard and they rewarded you with service. Whenever I do anything reckless, even if it's for my honour... Panosh is on my back about it, and I get punished. Like now. I didn't mean to threaten anyone. Well, it's all water under the bridge. Let's not spoil our hunt. Hmm. Getting on his good side. I think it's because I'm running next to him. Didn't ask for no lazy horse. I'll work my way up out of freaking the ground. Not like I have any, like, where to go. Anything to do, so... <laughs> What was I saying before? Uh, something about horses, I forget. Also, my uh, I still have a penalty here Let's for being else. in jail. Is this your first time hunting? This kind? Yes. I've been hunting since I could walk. If you're not a complete blockhead, you might learn something useful. And if you don't cock it up entirely today, maybe I'll take you again. It's always helpful to have a minion at hand. As I said, I have hunted before, but it wasn't... Chasing bunnies with a pitchfork isn't hunting. <laughs> 
Observe and learn. I'll do the best I can, sir. Chasing bunnies with a pitchfork. <laughs> this guy's amazing. Uh, he's kind of like the noble version of me. Just an extreme doofus. I mean, imagine, like, you know, this guy, he comes across as someone you don't really like that much. And I'm sure that I, my character, comes across as that same exact thing to anyone who's, like, wealthy Listen, or a noble in this game. Well, I don't know if... Um, that is, sir, I don't know if that's a suitable topic Excellent. of conversation for the hunt. We're not hunting yet. I'd like to hear about it at last from someone who was actually there. The Cumans attacked Scalettes and, um... Oh, anyone who didn't flee. That's what they all say. I want details. Is it really necessary, sir? Arguing with the nobility again, eh? It seems you're a bit of a rebel. No, not at all, sir. It's just that... Well, it's hard for me to talk about. I see. So I'll have to get you drunk first. I'm not sure even that would work. We'll have to find out, won't we? There's a nice little place just north of here. We'll camp there and you can tell me all about it. If you wish, sir. And don't dilly-dally. Let's try and get there before the day's out. Drunken hunting. Robert Baratheon says this is a smart plan. Holy, where the hell are we going? The clouds are just parting before us. Discovering all kinds of nests, too, and there was an accident along the way. Wow, what is all this stuff I'm discovering? You discovered, oh, here we go, shrine. This is a cool little place. I like this a lot. We'll make camp here. Whatever happened to my hound? There's like no mention of it in the game whatsoever. Oh, what the heck is that thing up there? It's like a bunny or something, like a giant bunny. Right in the road. Okay, do I need to eat? Uh, 59. Yep, I sure do. Bring wine and bacon from his saddlebag. Good lord. Get wine. One out of one. I actually have wine. Fetch the wine and bacon. You got bacon. You got wine. All right, well, that's easy. They didn't make me, like, go into an inventory to do it, which is pretty cool. What a peaceful little reprieve this is. Coming up, sir. At long last. Took me two seconds to get over there. Uh, let us deliver the bacon. We shall deliver the wine. I'm just going to give him one wine. That's enough. You really want to cancel... Handing item over. Confirm delivery X. That's what I had to do. So, are you enjoying being on the hunt? I am. Although we haven't actually hunted anything yet. That doesn't matter. Hunting is a diversion. The main thing is to get out of Rate for a while. Listening to Hanush's lectures all day long would drive anyone mad. All right. Let's see if we can play this semi-smart here. But your parents, what do you... Do? I don't think it, he wants to really talk about that. What do you do with your time? Let's just talk about uh, the task for right now. Ooh, or I could say I have no experience. He might like that because he'll, he'll be in a position of power. Uh, let's sit, first start out, though, with what are we going to hunt. What are we going to hunt? Cumans. What? Cumans? But... <laughs> you should see your face. <laughs> I got you there. <laughs> We'll see what we can get, but I'd like to bag a boar, one at least, and a few hares too, eh? But what about you? Before I couldn't get a word out of you, now your tongue's loosened. So, tell me about Scalettes. I heard Sigismund had a hundred banners there. Uh, all right. We'll talk about it. I don't know, sir. I didn't have time to count them. I do think it makes sense to talk about it because he's interested, so it's a miracle that I escaped. I'm going to say there's nothing I could do because I, this sounds like I'm a coward. It's not easy for me to talk about, sir. My parents were killed right in front of my eyes. Well, couldn't you do anything about it? I mean to say, 
didn't Radzig put up a defence? They caught us unprepared. There was no time for anything. I wanted to save my parents, but I was too late. All right, then. I was only asking. I'm not a coward, or I apologize. This is a tricksy one. Trixy, Trixy. Why would I be apologizing? That's the question. I want to. Mm, I don't want to apologize. I don't ever want to apologize for anything in life, ever. But I also don't want to say that I'm not a coward. Uh, uh, I I'm did not it. a coward, if that's what you're getting at, sir. I never said you were. And I'd never let anyone yes, call me one. Not even a noble. More honor to you. Well, never mind. Anyway, it's too late to go anywhere today. But tomorrow we set off at first light. Got it? Yes, sir. Wow. I waited until dawn so we could ride here to wait until dawn. Wonderful. Oh, what the? He pulls a salami out of his pocket or something like that? What is that thing? Is a, wait, is that a whetstone? No, that's the bacon. Ah. I see. He just balances it on his knee. Starts drinking. Look at the doofus dogs here. Uh, did I ever eat the, the stew? 84 nourishment? Yeah, it looks like I did. Is there more? No, it just says drop into pot. I don't want to do that. I kind of want to talk to him a little bit more. I feel like there, there should have been more we could have done or said. Greetings. What do you need? Another thing. Sir? Not now, blacksmith. Keep it for morning. Okay. Well, um... Oh, this little guy's tired. <laughs> Look at him looking up at me. <laughs> That's awesome. He's just lazy laying on his back. Like, barely bothers to look up. Well, I suppose the only thing to do now is to wait until morning. Just in case, let's take a look here at the quest log. The prey waited till dawn. Yep, that is indeed the scenario. So, dawn's going to be right on nine hours. Holy bananas. All right. Uh, I guess we'll do that then. Never feeling like I'm going to get interrupted or something's going to happen, but maybe not. These quests love, or these ga sort of games love to interrupt your, like, sleeping with just random nonsense. And I'm really wondering if this game's going to be kind of the same. Or if they're going to have it be much more realistic where almost every single night is an uneventful bore. <laughs> Not sure what's worse, honestly. Ooh. I just waited until I couldn't. Uh, oh, I didn't even bother to like sleep in the tent because had I done that, uh, I probably would have had more energy. I'm guessing. Good lord, what a frigging doofus sleeper this guy is. Can I, um, if I drop something into the pot, I only have snaps and wine, unfortunately. Open. I think this is this is all of my chests. Yes, I have access to my food in here if I really want it. I'm th I think. Yeah, this is all my stuff. I can access it even though it's, like, technically back at the house. Just a, a smidge of convenience. Well, it sure would be nice if he'd... What was that? Might have been me being loud. So much armor on. I don't really feel like I need all this armor and, like, I'm gonna scare things off. I hear dogs out there. There's something going on out there. I'm kind of curious where we are. Uh, let me see if I could move around here. Whoa! We're almost back in Townburg. Woo! When you fast travel in this game, you really go far. I was not expecting that. What is this thing over here? Newhoff. I don't even remember being there. That's interesting. I could just leave this guy. So see you later. I wonder what would happen if I didn't bring him his wine and bacon. Like, is it impossible to progress? Or could I just... Because it gave me that inventory. It's like, confirm delivery. What if I just gave him the bacon without the wine? Anyway, Hans, you want to get the heck out of bed? Sir? Wake up, sir. It's time to go. <sighs> what? Are you mad? It's still dark. I thought we were going to get an early start, sir. 
Early means at first light. Light, <laughs> you dolt. Do you want me to break my neck in the black of night? Go back to sleep. Damn it. I was worried about something like that. And he's so fed up with that sleeping pad, he's going to go over to that one. The dogs are both. They look not even like alive. Look at these little little guys. I think they actually do have their eyes shut, though, which is pretty cool to see. Cook item E. Can I... Is the cook item E the dog? Am I going to, like, throw him in there? I'm not really sure what's going on. Uh, Anywho, I'm pretty sure what I need to do here is sleep for, like, six more minutes. Uh, there we go. It's actually should be first light now. I'm not sure that I understand. I bet what's going to happen is I'm going to sleep for five minutes. Why is the screen like half black? Anyway, let's just keep sleeping. I have a feeling what's going to happen is he's going to wake me up and be like, Why are you not awake yet, you lazy slowpoke? Oh, nope. We both got up at the same time. Rock and roll. What are you waiting for? Your lord requires you for the hunt. What did I say? Oh, really? Such a renowned hunter needs help. You wouldn't dare mock your betters now, would you? Oh, heaven forbid, your lordship. If that's the way you want it, peasant, we'll meet back here at noon. Whoever has the most... What? Energy. Oh. And if you don't have anything to shoot with, there's a crate in the camp with some old hunting equipment. You can help yourself. After all, there's no sport in trouncing some wretch who hasn't a chance in hell. Uh, There's like a 100% chance I'm going to lose this, but you know what? I'm game. By all means, Sir Hans. Ha! You'll soon be laughing on the other side of your grubby face. And now this turn your back for a while. I know a few tried and tested spots in these woods, and I don't want you stealing them. Like the path, like right up here, where there was already a bunny. Oh my god, he's out of here! Look at him go! Uh, where the heck is the thing he was telling me about? Compete with Sir Hans at hunting headers. You gotta be kidding me! Come on, where's the... the... the stuff I need? Ah, here we go. Villager's Ash Bow. We'll take that. We'll take this better hunting arrow and a hunting arrow. Power mod 1.1. Price one. Do I, are these? Oh, I get 10 better hunting arrows and I get 30 hunting arrows. All right, let's quickly get over here. So something I wanted to say is this so reminds me of Merlin. It's ridiculous. Like that guy even looks like the doofus. Um, uh, why can't I remember? Not Lancelot. What the heck is the king's name? It's like Guinevere. Uh, how could I not remember? Okay, Arthur! Arthur, there we go. Wow, didn't even remember the name Arthur. All right, what do I got over here? Arrows. What kind of arrows are these? I'm not sure yet. If I were to look at weapons, I got tournament arrows. Hunting arrows, they seem to be stab they seem to be less damage, but that's probably fine. Power mod one. They seem to be just I don't know. I don't know. I'm just gonna use the regular hunting arrows for now. Let's equip those. Looks good. And let's get the Oh, you know what? Though if we're hunting hair, I don't need to be scanning no hair away. So let's get our noise as low as possible. We're at 69 now. I'll take that off. Actually, my shield made no real difference there. Uh, but I think these things, if I were to take them off. Can I do it over here like this? Uh, e, equip. There we go. Noise 62. Uh, we can probably take off this male collar. Noise 55. Great. Padded quaff. Noise. I don't know why taking that off would reduce our noise. Noise 38. Fence that. Like padded armor. There we go. Noise 8. Now we're talking hunter's gloves. Provide basic hand protection. Okay, I can keep those on. They make no difference. Uh, and that seems to be decent. Taking the ring off really reduces my noise by two. How the hell does a, having a ring on make any noise? In any event, let's do this. Oh, hold on. Oh, I, do animals... Do I have to worry about animals with visibility and conspicuousness? Because that may make some sense to take off my shield. Actually, actually, well, all it does is increase my speed from 18 to 19. So that's that by itself is worth it. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, also, I want to make sure I understand this quest exactly. So let's read this here. The prey compete with Sir Hans at hunting here. He did say be back by noon. All right, let's do it. Never hunted anything in this entire game, and I can barely shoot an arrow. I really wanted to get some practice before I did this, but I'm kind of role playing it realistically. I, I probably might have been able to come. Is that one over there? Ooh, 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 ooh. Shh, guys. Shh. 
What the heck? Get, what the? I can't do it. It's so hard to shoot arrows with zero archery skill. Ready? Well, that was close. Yeah. Woohoo! Got close. Okay, I need to sneak closer because this is ridiculous. Do I have caps walk on? Very quiet. Very quiet. Nobody sees the bun. <gasps> bunny! Bunny, come back! Come back! I just want to murder. I just want to murder and eat you for sport. Don't worry, Bunny. Bloody hell! Okay, hopefully I get a lot better at this a lot sooner. Ah, oh, wow. I have a feeling I'm gonna shoot every arrow and get nothing out of it. Aha! Yes! I have murdered! Beautiful! Why is it steal, technically? I don't understand why it's telling me steal all. Like, isn't this what I'm supposed to be doing? Is he going to be mad at me for stealing the Lord's lands and put me back in jail again? Also, those arrows that I fired, can I see? Yeah, they're right here. Okay, I can pick them back up. Awesome. There's, there's another one. But you got to find them and look how hard it is to find them. Uh, okay. That's really cool. I always thought it was kind of cool how in some games you could go reclaim your arrows. But why would you want to? Well, do I have to do anything else with this? Do I have to chop it up or anything? Just loot? No, I, I think I just looted it. It's... It's corpse, and that's good. I know the first arrow I shot went way out here, but I don't know where. All right, so we have until noon, and the current time is seven. Or maybe it's eight. I, I think it's actually seven, though. There was another one right over here someplace. Where did he go? Come here, little bunnies. I want to be kind of quiet. Where the heck is he? I know I saw two of them. Oh, there's one. There's one. There's one. He's coming right towards me. He doesn't even know. He doesn't even know. Get ready. And... Fire! Oh, hell. Out by the rock is my arrow. Look at this little bunny. He's got no idea. What the... Give me one point in arrow firing. It's so... Freaking heart. Right in the head. You've reached new level in both. Thank God. Because, God, that was... It's so hard to aim this thing. Let me come over here and look at bow really quick. Uh, level 1. Progress 16%. Until you reach level 5, you're unable to hold the bow correctly, and when firing, the string will flay your forearm, causing injury, unless you're wearing a van brace or other arm guard, in which case, firing will only drain stamina. I am wearing the arm guard, so I'm only draining stamina. Uh, so yeah, until I hit level 5, I actually am a literally, like, just bad. Just bad at it. So that's interesting to know. Look at- well, I can't see the arrow in his head. But that was some pretty sharp marksmanships there, I think. Let's steal all. Hunting arrow. Bam! You new level in hunting, because that's what I'm doing. Over by this rock, I think my other arrow was over here. I love that I have to keep track of my arrows, just like real life. You only got so many. You don't want to just, like, go- oh, there's another one. God, I'm, if only hunting were, like, this easy. Is that a boar over there, or is that a rock that looks like a boar? I think it's a rock that looks like a boar. I do think I'm making the right decision here to be uh, very sneaksy, walking around barefoot in the forest. All right, best odds of hitting this thing is when it's walking away from me. And... Ah, no, no good. Let's sneak up some more. Am I crouched? Yeah, let's crouch walk. God, then I hit C, and then I start running after it. I think it, oh, it heard me. But. But. God. I haven't gotten any better at this. Woo! Headshot! Boom! I like how it, like, instantly ragdolls onto the ground. One shot, one kill. What time is it? Um. So this is how long I would rest to. It's currently 7.30 and I've already got three of these. All right, huh? You shouldn't have challenged me, friend. You shouldn't have challenged me. I also like his, how his demeanor completely changed since last night. But I did best him at that thing, and he did have some time to think. And I think he does kind of like how I'm standing up for myself all the time. 
even though I shouldn't. It's a fun dynamic. It's the only thing that made Merlin bearable to watch since the writing was awful. Boar hunting spot. Fascinate. Did not realize such a thing was a thing. Yeah, right there. Boar hunting spot. Huh. Okay, there's more like a bunny hunting spot, if you ask me. But get ready. Archers! Bloody hell. Actually, this one's closer. Aiming way too high. Okay. Nah, I'm never gonna I'm never gonna pull that one off. Where'd this one go? He's not even moving. This is an easy target. I say. Ah, oh, right over his head. Alright, I gotta aim lower. I gotta try to figure out where the aiming arrow is. So if I aim the arrow at like the f the ground here. Oh god, that was that was really bad. Wow! That still went over him. I seem to have my, my left right axis set up. But I seem to also fire high. So I'm gonna guess here. Wow, really close. This is pretty pathetic if you think about it. Wow. Well, this is gonna make some for entertaining viewing for sure. You guys could take bets on how many arrows it's gonna take me to kill every one of the buddies. Or maybe I'll just oh, for God's sakes. Maybe I'll just edit this out after I kill like one or two more. Come on. Yes! But it's so satisfying when you do finally hit one after 700, 700 attempts. Oh my lord, now I've gotta pick up all my broken arrows and Oh my lord. <laughs> <sighs> okay, well, here's what I'm gonna do. I am gonna hunt till noon, uh, and I'll probably edit it out a little. Broken arrow? Oh, because I hit the wall or something? Can I repair it, is the question? Is there any more over here? Is it because I shot it at the um, better hunting? Broken arrow. As far as I can tell, I only have broken arrow can't be repaired. Stab damage 80. I can't actually see. Where's the quantity? Oh, I have to close this thing down. I've got two of those. Okay, so I'm definitely going through my arrows with reckless abandon here. But my plan is, let's go back at those other other two. I'll shoot some more guys and I'll just edit out until, um, you know, until the hunt is done. Because this is going to be very repetitive. Although I am enjoying it, to be honest. But I don't really think it's going to be fun to be like, damn it! Damn it! Huzzah! As I hit a hit like eighteen hundred bunnies. Although maybe I'll do if I have a, have the time, I'll do like an editing montage of me just murdering bunnies. I doubt that's going to be a thing I do. Whoa! Look at that! Look at that! It's a herd of deer. Should I kill one? I don't think so. We're just in a rabbit competition. Wow. They're just roaming around. Roaming around. Anyway, it's now uh, almost 10. I've killed, I forget how many bunnies. Uh, I will say I just shot like six arrows at one of them and I only recovered one and I can't find all the other ones. So not the best hunter. This little grove here is interesting. You can like rush the bunnies through it and they can hide in it, which is pretty cool. But anyway, yep. Back to hunting. Oh, look at this. I've discovered an interesting site. And at this interesting site, there's a bandage and a bunch of flowers. I'm gonna steal them all. I wish I wish it would just take. Like I don't really understand who am I stealing from exactly. I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, let me actually check my inventory. Like those flowers don't show as stolen. Wait a minute. These bunnies do. Meat from a wild hare is unhealthy and delicate, but hare isn't very big and won't keep you fed long. Oh wow. 
Uh, I've got 69 header meat and 35 down here at different uh, varieties. We are indeed competing to hunt. I should be picking these up, right? I mean, I know I'm not supposed to be uh, poaching or whatever. Compete with Sir Hans at hunting haters. Okay, well, hopefully I'm doing the right thing. That was an interesting little site there. I'm glad someone thought to name it interesting site. Also, I haven't found a, a bunny in kind of a while here. I'm wondering, like, I found like 10 all within six feet net. And I've seen a ton of deer up there. You can see them hopping around. And down below to the south, there were some. Oh, it's like seven days to die. Is there going to be a honey jar and a wasp inside this tree trunk? No. All right. Well, I guess I was in like the bunny, the bunny haven. And I ran out of it, and now I'm in, like, the Dieter, the Dieter Haven or whatever. It's kind of like there's a boar site. You find a bunch of things, which makes some sense. I guess bunnies would be in, like, a tight area, maybe. I'm not sure. I can also hear the dogs, and because I read that hunting thing, I'm pretty sure that's where he is. But, yeah, at first I was thinking to myself, holy bananas, this is, like, super easy. But I haven't found a single bunny since, basically, I hunted one more after I said I was going to cut, and that was it. Or maybe two more. No, I'm out here in, like, the thicket running around. Can't find nothing. Also, it's a lot harder to see over here. And the time is a-ticking. Huh. Alright, I'm gonna go back to where I think I started. Like, the little, the grasslands. I th oh, no. I think that's gonna be a much better... Oh! Wait, no, this, these are rocks. I thought those were bunny corpses. Oh, what's that up there? Oh, that's a ton of deer. I don't want that. Hey, buddy. Easily murder him, though, but... Like I told my mom, I have no interest in poaching. We're also, where the heck am I? So our camp is over here to the east. That's a uh, border hunting spot. That was the interesting site. Okay, I'm pretty sure over here is where I found all those bunnies. I may have murdered the entire family. There was one that got away. Uh, to the south someplace, and I've never seen it again. Huh. Alright, well, this was definitely... Trixie. It seemed a lot harder. Oh! No, that's, that's, a, that's a light beam. Light beam on a tree. Or rather, it seemed a lot easier when I started than now. And I'm really wondering, like, where the heck would bunnies be? Like, I don't know the signs. They would probably be in like a... Oh! Hello! Well, there's where they would be! On the street! Of course, that's like the second time I've run into one on the street. Alright, now, watch my archery skill, guys. I've got plus one bow since last you saw me. So check this out, right? I'm gonna sneaks up on this bunny and... Oh, bloody hell. Come back, buddy! I'm sneaksing! I'm sneaksing! We is sneaksing. Why am I speaking like Smeagol all of a sudden? Come on. Slow your proverbial horses. I hate it when they're walking at an angle. I, think, I feel like it makes it harder to hit them. There we go. We want to be right behind them. Aim and... First shot's a try! Oh, bloody hell. Look how much better I got, though. Right, guys? Right? Ooh, that was actually kind of almost legitimate. That one right there. I'm going to re-pick up my arrow really quick. Hopefully the bunny doesn't hear me. And... Yeah! Look at this! I am survivalist! Woo! It feels so satisfying to shoot a bow when it's so hard to shoot. As opposed to every other game where, like, they make it, they give you a crosshair, or they make the, the arrow just fly a thousand miles an hour. They make it all super easy. Anyway, yeah, so like I was saying... How do I determine what's going on with bunnies? Like, where... Oh, there's there's our horse. I don't want to hunt that. Where should I expect them? I don't... See, I don't think I, I should expect them here. It's like a really thick thicket. And thick thickets ain't what bunnies like. Right? I kind of feel like the game gave me a handout there with the bunny. Then again, maybe it's just because I saw that bunny on the way in up the, uh, on the road, like, for two seconds, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go up there, and bam! There was a bunny's nest. I just got really lucky. And I imagine maybe if you were playing the game, you, you park here and you just run off. And you're like, where the hell are the bunnies? That's, I've, I've been equally like, oh my god, I'm inundated with bunnies. 
Uh, and also, where the hell are the bunnies? Like 50 50, this entire hunting adventure. God, it's so peaceful, though. <gasps> Bunny on the road! I should have known! They love the road! He's gonna walk right into me, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hide in this bush, right? He's never gonna see it coming. Come here, bunny. Come here. Make it easy. Yeah! Oh, bloody hell. How did he not run when I shot that is my question. <laughs> right in the skull. Right in the skull, poor little guy. Fear not, I'll eat you good. I will eat you good. Uh, and let's come up here, grab our arrow. Something about this is really fun. For, like... I think it's just because it's difficult, so when you actually do land something, it feels super gratifying. Kind of like the combat. I really like the combat. Someone just made a post in the last episode that I- or two episodes ago. There's a bunny. Um... I, I wish they were- I wish they were a little bit more realistic with the density of the, uh, animals in the forest. Because this is kind of insane. When you do find them, they- they- they're really there. But, anyway, yeah, someone just made a post about how a lot of people on YouTube don't like the combat. God, the combat's amazing. I would play this game just for the combat. Freaking hell, I say, as I miss wildly multiple times. But to me, that's fun. I'm learning. It's like I'm fighting the, the mouse. Come on, right? Oh, yeah, that was a great one. This is the one. Okay, it was really close. Look at that. You can't even see the bunny on the screen really anymore. I actually ran out of arrows. All right, we're gonna have to use our... Uh, do I want to use my better hunting arrow? I don't. I want to just walk up here. Now, this is the thing that sucks, because where the hell did all the arrows go? Okay, here's one. Uh, here's another. Look how hard they are to see. You actually really gotta look. A lot of these are broken as well. In fact, I think almost all of them are broken. I'm just looking for the blue feather. How many do I actually have left? Uh, hunting arrow. Let's put those in. I have nine, apparently. Okay, bunny's right there. What time is it? It's almost noon. This is my final bunny. It's the final bunny. Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do -do. I just murdered me that bunny. One shot right in the back of the skull. No pain. No pain, no gain, as they say. Where the heck was the last arrow? I feel like I might need the better hunting arrows when I fight the bigger game. Now, do I have to go meet him at noon, or what the heck? Uh, let's actually hit the quest log here and try to figure it out. So, the prey. Yeah, there's nothing really on the thing. It just says compete with him. Okay. So, I guess I just run around. Could have sworn there were more arrows here, but I'm already turned around and backwards, and I don't know what's going on. Is that a bunny on the hill? I'll have to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. Well, I do have... Oh, actually, I'm actually overloaded by carrying 92 pounds of bunny. Okay, I could eat some fruit or whatnot, but you know what? I think we're going to have a little bit of a bunny stew for... Oh, I can see that. That's that... That's... There he is! I see him! He's, I, th I saw the hound there sitting up on the hill. Hey, friends! You coming over to say hello? I got more... Literally more bunnies than I can carry. Be my guest. What? What the hell's he talking about? Oh yeah, look, I can't even run because I'm so overburdened carrying on my bunnies back. We'll see what kind of master huntsman I am indeed. Yeah, I can't even run. Carrying too many. He ran right over one of my bunnies. He might have tripped on it. I killed so many. And he had hounds too. That's not even fair. Oh, I think I see the... um. Oh, sorry. That's the wrong button. M. Really? The heck? Oh, I was looking at that thing up there. What the heck's he doing down here? Need a to eat. Hush. What are you hunting? Nothing here. Hans, there's nothing here. Let's go. For good sakes, Hans, it's already noon. I think it's actually a couple minutes before noon. Okay. Uh. 
Uh, I hope he didn't get bugged out on that tree. Wait. Oh, no. Damn it. I was just about to shoot that bunny he was hunting. I found it. Look, it was hiding on the other side of the thing here. I could do with a bite to eat. Can I still shoot it by chance? Or is it too late? Oh, hey, bunny. Oh, come on. I can't actually pull the trigger. I don't have any arrows? Is that what it is? Yeah, I don't have any arrows. Bloody hell, it was sitting right in front of me. Hunting arrow. I'm gonna cheat and get one more bunny. For the road. <laughs> Look how good I am. Take all! Can't carry it, but I'm taking it all! Come on, Hans. Let's see what you got. You got 300 pounds of bunny meat, huh? Because my guess is no. Nice spotting that bunny there, though. Although you didn't really kill it. Seemed like you were kind of being a doofus about it, to be honest. Ah, this is a peaceful hunting game here. I'm enjoying it. Looks like my stamina is going down because I'm getting really hungry. I'm fatigued, so I'm probably getting more hungry. Which is making me more fatigued. So, yeah, it's a vicious circle right here. I probably don't want to be eating these mushrooms. Hans, you know what this, the trick is? The trick is you don't know you're wearing fancy shoes. That's the trick. You gotta go barefoot if you want to be hunting bunnies. You can shush me all you want, but... I really also hope, go back to the camp, that he's not gonna be mad at me for having like 800 pounds of stolen bunny on me. Wait for Sir Hans. I could drop 800 bunnies into the stew. I probably have enough that I could win and still cook up half of them. Hans, really? Oh, you're gonna go over there? I love to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. Yeah, he does kind of remind you obnoxiously often when you're hungry. Objective started. Talk to Sir Hans. All right, Hans, get out of the bush because I don't want to cut scene him scaring your face like a doofus. And let us compare, friends. I was gonna sit on that bench before too. There we go. How did the hunt go for you, sir? I did quite well. Look, why do you ask? You were right on my ass the whole time. Oh, please. Not bad, though. Quite good, actually. For a common blacksmith's boy. Um, shouldn't there be some reward for the victor? Jesus, the insolence. A serf asking his lord for coin. But never let it be said I'm a pinch purse. Very well, then. Your serf humbly thanks you, my lord. And now, come along. Ooh. Let's go and hunt some real game. Uh, before we do that, I need to cook some stew up because holy bananas, am I overburdened by... I can't actually throw stuff in here. Alright, let's come over here really quickly. Henry. Yeah, I mean, this is so... This is absolutely so... Um, Merlin. What the heck is... Oh, I have to look at my inventory. I see. Uh, food. Holy bananas. Why is this one not stolen, but all the rest of them are? This one's already down to 84%. Wow, that went really fast. Let's move all the hitter meat, except E, 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 E. I'm, I actually have 60 pounds out of 86, probably because I'm carrying all this armor I don't need. Let's find the heaviest things amongst them, probably the shield, and let's get rid of those, right? Quick weight, nothing there. You know what? Let's just do all weight. Light padded armor. Let's throw that in. It weighs a ton. The shield. There we go. That'll free up a ton of space. 74 out of 86. Am I looking at the weight capacity of the bench? Also, really nice of him to give me 35 groschen. That's the most money I've made all game. Where'd he go? Come back. Where the heck did he go? Oh. Oh, he was up there now. I heard him yelling. Hello? How did he get up here so fast? This is insane. I'm running full speed. Oh, was the game not paused when I was putting stuff in my pack? Oh, there he- Oh, he has a horse! Okay. Makes some sense now. I also got one skill of hunting while I was doing all that. It didn't make any difference. I think I just got more meat. I didn't get any hides or anything. I, may I wonder if I'm destroying them 
And when I get higher hunting, they'll, they'll, that'll go up more. Are we going to go to the border? Uh, down here, the border hunting thing. Or are we going to go hunt those deer? Oh, do you want to talk to me on the way or what? Hans, why are you looking directly away from me? I, well, there are there were a pack of deer out there. I do remember seeing them. So, and again, the hounds. Oh, there he is. Now he's looking at me. Maybe he's looking towards the closest deer. Why doesn't he just release the hounds? Release the hounds! What the heck See is here? A wallow, and it's been freshly rooted. There'll be boar somewhere nearby. So, just like last time. Slow and quiet, whatever you do. Understand? Well, watch out for them from the top of that mound there. That's someone else's dog. Look at this. I'm making friends in the forest. You want to take him down with an arrow? Well, certainly. Why Why wouldn't I? You won't kill him like that. Boar is hunted with spears. Is that so? So now all of a sudden you're a master huntsman, are you? Watch and learn. Uh-oh. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> Damn, I'm good. <laughs> Quiet. So... Next time you try to tell me I can't kill a boar with an arrow, you can... See? Fuck! After him! Fetch! <laughs> this is literally an episode of Merlin. Chase down that swine! <laughs> it's like the, the boar gets up and runs away, and it's a big to-do, and the whole episode is Merlin, like, tripping over his shoe into a wall. The dragon's like, Merlin, you mustn't use magic. <laughs> Anyone who's what the hell's going on? Follow where is Hans? Oh god! Anybody who's watched that, I don't even know where he went. He went west, and I lost him because I'm on foot. Uh, okay, out here. Anyway, anyone who's watched that show will probably find what I said hilarious. If you, maybe I don't know. Run down the border. I forgot all about that. Like constantly yelling. Run the. What do you mean run down the border? X. No. The hell? Objective failed. What the. I was so busy making a Merlin joke, I failed to hunt the boar. Uh, where am I? What's going on? Oh, I'm at like the... I should have really paid a little bit more attention there instead of making a, um, getting lost in my magic thingy. Oh, well. Well, that sucks. I mean, I wonder if you were supposed to hunt down the border. I don't know. Can I find it somewhere else? I have no idea. I, I honestly, I'm completely lost in the forest. Well, if there's anything role-playing games will let you do, it's get lost in the forest. Oh, hey, there's some deer. Where the... I'm right in the middle of the zone, I mean. I think I'm actually, this is where we started, wasn't it? I wonder if it's even possible to run the board down, or if it just automatically, like, basically runs away. What the heck is this? Hey, get out of here. Jesus! There's no place for the likes of you. Are you kidding me? It's terrifying. Hey, is that guy a hunter? Um. Like like a like a huntsman because if he's not, that means he's stealing. He's stealing the goodies. I wanted to talk to him, but it didn't give me the option. I didn't want to fight him, and I want to find uh, Hans, wherever the heck he is. All right, well, uh, wow. 
Now I'm literally hunting Hans in the forest. Like, that that's what this game has come to. And I don't have a clue where he is. And I feel like I just need to be, like, three feet tall. Oh, hello, deer. Well, if we want to hunt deer, I know where to do it, I suppose. Oh, uh, that wasn't him. That's just a rock. Ah! Nope, that was just a sunbeam that looked like his horse lying down. <laughs> At least I'm getting some stamina training, if nothing else. Aha! Uh -huh. I found someone. Didn't look like him, though. Who the heck is this? What the? You won't even talk to me. Just in the forest. Oh my lord, look at this. <sighs> I can't just leave Sir Hans here to rot. Even yeah. if he is a pain in the ass. Man. <laughs> uh, that is so cool. What is that over there? I don't know what that is. Oh, I want to go find out. All right, well, I found, like, a little clearing. I found a town in the distance I want to explore. And there might be things to do in there. I found this guy. Uh, but I have lost Hans. So I honestly don't know. As far as I can tell, I've searched the entire area on the map, and I just can't find him. So, anywho, it's the power of editing. Oh, hungry. Shall commence. You discovered... Grave. Why the hell is there a grave here? Um, there's some weird things going on in this forest. Also, I cannot find this guy. I have searched pretty much everywhere that I can see. To literally no avail. Ooh. What I haven't been doing, though, is picking flowers. I'm just hopping around trying to get, like, more height. Plus, I figure maybe I'll get some stamina or vitality for this a little bit. Oh. Damn it. It's a moss-covered rock that looked like his horse was lying down again. But, yeah, I have literally... I'm going to go south a little bit, but if he's not down here, directly south, I have searched this entire place. And I can't find him. There's a random well. Interesting sight. Okay. Hey, what do you use these as, like, landmarkers? Be like, hey, out by the old abandoned well, uh, three paces northeast of the grave. Take a turn at, like, Timmy's murder shack. And uh, then you'll find yourself a boar swallow or some such, whatever they're called. He's got to be over here, because I've literally gone every other place, and look how thick the trees are. So he's obviously, like, hiding behind a tree because he tripped or something stupid, like a true doofus would. Let me just quickly take a look at the map here. God, I've been here 15 times. Or maybe, maybe it's actually the middle of the map, because I've probably gone everywhere around the edge. Wait. Is that him? No, that's a bunch of deer. I'm going to go right to the middle, and if he's not there, I'm pretty sure he's just playing a trick on me, and he's, like, back in uh, whatever town he's from. Good lord. Good lord, Hans. Why can't I just yell? Huh? Oh, actually, I can. It's said in the game, if you whistle, people can hear you. Running through the forest whistling. <laughs> oh, back to this place again. That's something, huh? Yeah. Yeah, great. Hmm. 
A woodland garden! Look at this! Just a bunch of mint out here. And comfrey. Huh. That was a great place to grab a bunch of uh, herbs that are otherwise going to be probably pretty hard to find. And I'm getting some skill in herbalism doing it. Uh, but at the same time, I have no idea where Hans is. I haven't heard his dog since. Found him! Oh no, I didn't! Oh god! Oh, he's hitting me. Can I throw on some armor? I didn't bring it with me! He was in a freaking bush! Oh god, this is not gonna be good. I got no armor. Come on. Come on. Okay. He wasn't kidding about hunting these guys, huh? Oh, I'm getting shot at by arrows as well. Ooh. Ooh! Hit him right in the head, but guess what? Doesn't make any difference. Because he's got a little bit of a helmet on. Okay. Ready? Ooh. What are you doing? Oh, boy. I didn't see that coming. He dropped his bow and, like, freaking walloped me. Oh, God, he walloped me, guys. Now I'm bleeding. Ooh. I will save Hans. Come on. Got to get my stamina back. Got to get it back. I'm a master swordsman. Damn it. Got to be good. Oh, yeah. Gotta be good. Gotta have stamina. Get out the beard. Wait for him. Wait for him. Wait for him. Right in the face. Right follow up. Get ready to parry. Wait for it. Wait for it. Perfect block. Ooh, he's swinging and a miss. No, no aggressive. Blood in my eyeballs. No problem. No problem. It's real, no problem. Come at me. Come at me. I dare you. I dare you. Come at me. Come on. Sup! Sup, boy! That's right! That's right! Mercy kill- Oh god, oh god. I got a bandage! I'm bleeding out! Bandage. Apply. Uh, select body part you want to patch. Head, 75% E, except. Please tell me that worked. Uh, it did not. Let's try again. E, apply the band- 50%, except. Okay, E, head, 25%. Four bandages I gotta put on my head. Untie Sir Hans. Gunman dead. Grab body. E, loot. Whew. 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 I feel like I'm- I feel like I'm still bleeding out. Head, 0%. Do I have to do any more? Yeah, you're not bleeding. Okay! Even when you're at 0%, you gotta bandage again, apparently, to get down to zero. Holy mother of heavens, guys, look at my health! Master Swordsman! Oh, boy. Oh, boy, he wasn't joking, either. Let's take those six bandages, he's got some bread, that's awesome. Cumin bow, two hundred dollars. I'm getting rich. Dark foot wraps and soles. Hell yeah. Four dried fruit, leather gloves. Uh, 0.5 pound light cumin helmet. Red hose. Gotta get yourself some red hose, guys. Yellow cumin tunic. Wounding arrow. This is this is just take everything. Take everything. 
Uh, is there any chance I could have the faintest clue where I killed the last guy by by chance? I cannot believe where. Okay, I swear to God, I don't I don't know where I I was wandering for like 20 minutes in that forest, and at long last, at long, long, long last, the other guy was like submitting. I don't know what the it said mercy kill. It didn't say like he was surrendering. I think I had just wounded him so badly. Did you guys see that master swords play? That was like I I over I got very aggressive in the beginning, and I made a lot of mistakes, and then I like composed myself with blood in my eye, and I a whole bunch of deer are going by, and I was like, don't don't worry, keep it cool. What's my actual health? Three, three health. It's all you need. If you're a champion like me, three health is too too many. Three hundred percent more health than you need, more like. Ooh. Hey, there's a bunny. Where the hell am I going? Uh, Hans is over here. You discovered camp. New codec entry. What? Why do I have a camp for camping? Okay, I don't. I don't need to read all that. It's just generic stuff. I'm pretty sure the the first guy that I downed was like right here. I really want to loot him. You gotta have priorities. Like it's always. He might have run away because I didn't actually finish him. He's surrendered. Look at this guy just waltzing up here. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where he where he went. I can't believe I actually downed both of them while that guy was shooting arrows at me, and I had no armor. God, am I good? It's all that. It's all that. Like two years I spent fencing in high school. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'm really scared right now. Anything hits me, I am dead. I need to rest badly. Uh, looks like there's some some something on my mini map here. I'm not quite sure what it is. It's like right on the mini map on the marker, like right. Henry! Oh, here he is. Oh wow, he's looking pretty not so great. I'll have a bronze bust made of you, my friend. But where have you been till now? Freaking oh, looking you know, for you. I was picking berries, had a drink of wine, took a little nap. <laughs> <laughs> you lunatic! <laughs> they almost had me roasting on a spit. <laughs> I'd say it looked more like they were about to take your maidenhood. Zing! Now look here, dung grubber. <laughs> Is that any way to speak to a nobleman? <laughs> you don't look very noble. A nobleman with crushed balls, friend. <laughs> Now, you're playing with fire, boy. I could have you in the pillory for that. And then with my own two hands, I'd... Crush your balls! <laughs> <laughs> that He's... wound doesn't look good. He looks so hands. scared. You're right. Those cumin swine roughed me up a bit. And my damned horse has bolted. You'll have to get me home somehow. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Who knows how many bandits are creeping around here. Let's go, then. I've had quite enough excitement already. Um, what's happening? There we go. Just wander it's back. Lord Get here, everybody! I would have taken day. Well, I guess we did run Capon. up there. Wish I had looted that first guy. I'm pretty sure he ran away, though. Wonder what would have happened if they knocked me out. Like, would we both have been tied up? Would the game have ended? Would it have been, have been a loss? I don't know. Uh, I thought I was going to be the prey. Turns out we, or he was the prey. Achievement unlocked, buddy! Get Father's sword back. Objective updated. Go to something. I didn't see that last one. How is it possible, Ratsy? Those bastards make so bold no more than a mile from the castle. We'll have to send out more patrols. That won't do us any good, Hanush. Even if we had ten times the men, we couldn't beat through every thicket in the fiefdom. You sent for me, sir? Come in. I don't know how to thank you, Henry. If it wasn't for you, Hans would be dead. And to think I sent you out with him as a punishment. I was only doing my duty, sir. Don't be so modest, young Henry. You showed not only courage, but loyalty to your liege. That's why I'm taking you into my personal service. 
<laughs> sir, I, <laughs> I guess I'm... <laughs> Thank you, sir. Well, let's celebrate your promotion and Sir Hans's recovery. Well, don't just stand there, lad. Pour us a drink. <laughs> I got my gloves and bracers, and then I just have, like, underpants. I'm sorry to interrupt, sir, but I've urgent tidings. What now? A stable boy came from Neuhof. He says brigands raided the stud farm this morning. There's many dead or maimed. Tell us exactly what happened. I'm not sure. The boy was so shook up he could barely speak. He said the bandits murdered for the joy of it. I'm sorry, sir. Your vassal Smill is dead. Who did this? Who were they? We don't know, sir. The stable boy just kept babbling about some huge fellow in black armor who led the attack. Take as many men as you need, and don't stop until you've found those bastards. And bring me their heads! Yes, sir. My men at your disposal too, Hanush. Thank you, friend. Sir, let me ride with them. He's full of piss and vinegar, isn't he? Their leader, he must be the one who attacked me at Scalitz. There can't be two men in the whole kingdom who look like that. You think he might still have my sword? No doubt you could use another swordsman, Captain. Uh, as you command, my lord. How soon can you leave, Bernard? Soon as the men are ready, sir. Good. Wait in the courtyard for Henry. And uh, give him a horse. His own mount? His reward for saving Sir Hans. He'll need it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, go! I want these culprits in the hands of the executioner as soon as possible. I won't let you down, sir. I just poured that drink. Now he needs another band servant to get in there and pour him a new one. Runt, yes. Put that weapon away. Oh, I have a weapon out? What the? How did I? Put that do... weapon away before someone gets hurt. Go and report to Captain Bernard. Up and let's ride out. On the double. Maybe we'll catch up with that rabble. All right, I feel very rushed. Uh, hold the phone here for a minute. Let me check my quest log. Whew, that was intense. I was just like hanging out in the forest. I'm hunting me some rabbits. I'm having a good old jolly time with Hans. Uh, then I'm just like chasing a boar. And then out of nowhere, I'm within a millimeter of my life fighting to the death. Ooh, God, like... The fact that it was such a boring, just like stand in the forest hunt kind of event, and then out of nowhere, like that happened. That that is just so exciting. That like so, it's like you, you don't know you're going into something exciting. It's like you could be going somewhere boring, and out of nowhere, it could come this super excitement, like all kinds of stuff. Anything could happen. Hey, speaking of, let's look at all this stuff I stole here. Uh, this is zero percent durability a human tunic, probably because I wrecked it. Uh, what's a wounding arrow precisely? So this is 115 slash damage with a power mod of 1 and a price of 4. Many type of arrows available. Medieval archery, wounding and piercing arrows for combat, hunting arrows for shooting game. They can all vary in quality too, and good bow won't shoot bad arrows well, or vice versa. Alright, why don't I actually put the wounding arrows in my uh, thing here. Villager's ash bow is what I'm currently using, but didn't I take... Let's go to weapons really quick. Didn't I take the cumin bow? I did. So let us compare the villager's ash bow, strength... 2, Agility 1, Power 37, versus the Cumin, holy, almost double the power at 62, but at 10 Strength and 6 Agility, I am, actually I got 6 Strength and 5 Agility, I thought I was nowhere near that, but I'm, I'm getting up there, I am getting up there, let's quickly take a look at my player, it looks like I've got skills in hunting, I can pick a new hunting, this is cool, check it out, enables you to get antlers from hunted animals or tusks, enable, you're able to remove tusks from some animals, I don't know... I, I guess I should just wait till I have a reason to pick one of those and someone asks me for one or the other or I can take it and go get it. That's kind of cool. I actually think that's fun. Butcher, you're able to get off awful from hunted game. Okay, Tanner, you're able to skin dead animals. Yes, a long time ago, the guy's asking me for uh, hair skins. I'm nowhere near that. My combat bow is up to level two. That's good. My stats, I have one thing for strength now. Uh, and I have a couple more new things here we can pick. So I, I didn't want the Gravedrigger Mule I had passed on before as well. Carry 15 more pounds. Boar. 
You can deplete an opponent's health and stamina by bumping into him at a sprint. The effect is increased if your armor is heavier than his. That is really cool if I wanted to go full plate mail melee guy with a sword. I really wanted to be an archer, but I think... I'm not sure if I'm going to give up on that or what. I'm clearly much better with a sword than I am with a bow. Did even cross my mind to use a bow on that last engagement. And also... Um... Well, I, maybe I'll just wait till I get my archery up to five, because it says I can't even handle the bow properly until five. Then I'll make the decision. But until then, tight grip. Your stamina regeneration will not slow down in combat, even on the weapon backswing. Hell yeah! I will learn that for sure. All right, now, I need to check my quest log, because I'm a little confused here. The hunt begins. Go and report to Captain Bernard in the courtyard. That's just outside. Will they give me a little bit of time for this? Like... Is it before noon? Can I go flirt with Teresa? Ah, nope. It's like one minute before noon. By the time I got there, she'd be busy. So, um, I want to find my inventory, and I want to equip some actual gear if I'm going to be going into a fight. I tossed it. Oh, I actually have it, and I didn't even put it the whole time. I could have put it on. All right, well, let's put it on. Oh, that dark foot wraps and soles. That's right. I had gotten those from the guy. So let us compare these. Uh, to... What the heck was my other one? It was like worn boots, right? I don't even know where my worn boots was. I must have put them away because I don't have them. But these give me 53 noise. Uh, 111. One. They don't seem all that great. And I'm putting them on... I'm not sure exactly what it did. It lowered my speed by one. And it made me a little bit noisier, but not too much. Decorated red waffen. That lowers my charisma quite a bit. I don't want to wear that. Uh, leather gloves, though... These are much lower on the... It says two instead of four, so that will... This doesn't seem to make any real difference on my charisma. Five. 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 It's all the same either way. So, uh, stab defense, five. Why does it say negative one? Is that because of the durability condition? Yeah. Five. They're all pretty much identical. I'll just go with this one because it looks to be like a little bit quieter, I suppose. Light human helmet. Interesting. Interesting. I wish there was a, a, a compare thing. 882 or 662. This one's 883 up there. Noise 90s. That is so loud, though. Male collar. I don't even have one on. Reinforced male collar. 44453. Four, four, huh. Interesting. These things are so beaten up. I feel like I need to sell them because I can't carry all this weight. Let's put on my... Ooh, the red hose. Will, will that lower my charisma? Yes, it will. Short Scallet's Waffenrock. That will also lower my career. Where did I even get that? I don't I have no idea. Reinforced Mail Collar. Hey, that looks better than what I have. Okay. Well, I'm feeling like this is a half decent. I know I put my light armor in the chest. I want to go get my chest really quick, but I feel like they're waiting for me, but... Is there some place I could go nearby, like a tavern or something, just quickly to grab some? Or I could go to the blacksmith to heal up. Oh, there's a tavern right across the street, but it would take me actually kind of a while to run. Oh, there's a tavern down over here I could run to. And then I could run back really quick. And maybe if I went inside there, there'd be a chest. Although I don't know if I have to buy a room or not. Or You know what? Who cares? Who cares? I'm the best in all the lands. Let's just go talk to the guy and get on up out of here. Actually, before I do, it looks like there's a star over here. That's probably for down in the tavern. Never mind. Never ye mind. Captain Bernard. Boy would be good. Saddle up and let's ride. We can't wait forever. Can we go? Are you ready? What the heck? Why does it say objective failed? Mount your new horse. We can go. Not yet. Oh, so he's waiting for me. I think. Not yet. Well, why are you wasting time? We won't wait forever. Okay. But they will wait a little bit. Right? Um, I could go equip some armor if I really wanted to. Body plate, outer garment, body chain mail, body garment. It might make some sense. I really do think I should. Stop. So. Right, man. Saddle up. No dawdling. Last one there won't find me. Okay, that's it. Man. I'm coming. Oh, they're leaving without me. Where's my horse? <laughs> I thought they might do that. I think I took too long even getting to him. Objective completed. Mount your new horse. Yeah, they're just leaving. They don't even care. It's like no time to get armor. Follow the men to Nuhoff. 
Now I've got to get to Neuhof by myself. I hope Bernard won't be too angry. Huh, yeah, I think I, like, clicked on it as I was, like, one millisecond too late. I think it was at noon they were waiting until. Huh, interesting. Although, technically, I mean, I don't know. I don't know, whatever, I'm here. He better not be mad at me for not quote-unquote showing up, because I'm literally here and talk to him. Might just be a bug, I don't know. Look at this, though. Well, you know what I can do is just, I can hit shift, right? And then I don't even have to steer? What the heck? I thought, I thought you just do the canter. Okay, maybe not. Okay. I remember riding out here with uh, Hans not too long ago. God, they didn't even give me time to get my armor. That's crazy. I, I do like that a lot, though, about this game. It's like I'm really torn between do I have time? Just like in real life, you know, like, do I have time to go back? Is it worth the time to go back? Uh, like, things like are pressing in that matter. It makes it makes the whole world have a sense of urgency, like everything I do matters. Now, how the heck do you ride on the str- I thought you literally just hit the button. Oh, no, you hold down shift. There we go, and he, and he stays on it at the right speed. I see. I see, so now I can just look around. There's my arrows, my bow. I may have to actually try to use that this time. God, that was crazy. That was crazy. I really should have- I didn't even have- I don't think I had even had arrows loaded in my bow. Maybe I had, like, a couple hunting arrows. I was saving the good hunting arrows for later, and then didn't even need them. Hey, friends! Little camo there, huh? Oh, no, I want to help him, but I gotta go! Oh, that's so sick. I'm sick. Help me, please. I just run by. Will he still be there when I come back? Probably not. Probably not. It's all about the priorities. It's all about the priorities. Look at this field of poppies. Actually, I think those are like red, aren't they? Fields of dandelions. I think this is Newhoff, if I'm not mistaken. I really hope I don't get penalized. The guy's not yelling at me for, uh, quote unquote, not showing up. I'm gonna, literally going to get there before him if I gallop in. You discovered Newhoff, New Codex X3 N. Uh oh. Huss in the street. God, you got you gotta really be prepared. You gotta like carry stuff with you because you're not always gonna have the time to go do whatever you want, I now realize. And that means, you know, I gotta manage my inventory space a little bit better. Follow the men to Newhoff. Objective completed. Okay, maybe I'm back on track. I don't know. We'll see. This reminds me of Vikings when they did the first raids in England. That's weird. Now I'm back to wearing my doofer shirt. It's like it didn't update the fact that I changed all my armor before this. Where's your master? In... in the paddock. That looks like John McAfee. Crucifix? What kind of beasts could do this? By the blood of the martyrs. What happened here? Why? Someone came at night and hamstrung every one of them. The horses... screaming must have woke poor Radek, the stable boy. And when he tried to stop them... And then my husband... When my husband tried to help them, they killed him too. And when they were done, they put a torch to the stables. It looked like they torched the stable. My sincere condolences, ma'am. I swear we'll hunt those monsters down and make them pay for this. The horses were still alive when I came. We had to finish them off. All of them. The pain in their eyes. They couldn't understand how anyone could do this to them. Did they steal anything? Any horses? Nothing. 
They wanted blood, not coin. Did your husband quarrel lately? Was there anyone who might want revenge? He argued over the price of a saddle, maybe, but nothing, nothing that could drive a man to this. These are dark days when there's more kindness in horses than in men. Did you see anything? How many were there? Or what did they look like? We saw no one. Has anyone tried to follow their trail? No. We were fighting the blaze until now, and even if we weren't, what chance would any of us have against someone who could do this? A pox on it. Mount up and quarter the area. We have to find out where they went. Look for tracks and ask the folk if they saw anyone. Fuck, someone must have at least caught sight of them. Yes, yes sir. sir. What about me, Captain? What the hell use are you? You stay here. <laughs> Please, let me do something. <laughs> I could have a look around the area and see if they left any tracks. Well, if you must. Just don't get in anyone's way. Don't go too far and come back here when you're done. All right, I guess they have some fires in the stable. I don't. They probably just didn't have the money to like render a whole burnt down, half burnt down stable or something. Ooh. At least that understand. Why kill for nothing? I just like to know. I miss that. Um, I was busy busy watching the conversations in the background there. What was the quest log here? The hunt begins. Optional. Scout the area. Ooh, look at this. Optional. Question the survivors. Find out where the raiders went. Interesting. I need to go to the northeast to scout the area, but I do want... Ooh. Smell. The stud farm owner. I saw him in Scarlet's a few times. His poor widow. Zora. <coughs> Ask. That's I, it. I can come back later if you... No. I saw you came with the soldiers, and the sooner you know everything, the sooner you'll catch those savages. All right, tell me about the raid. I'm sorry to trouble you, ma'am, but could you tell me about the raid? The noise woke us up, me and Smill. We thought the horses were restless, or maybe some drunk had staggered here from the inn. Drunk had staggered here from the inn, that happens? Do you get drunks coming here a lot? Sometimes, but not this time. My husband went out to see what was going on. Then I just heard loud voices and screaming. It's so stupid. It didn't even occur to me at first that something could have happened to Smil. I didn't find out until the morning. Okay, now now we're in super detective mode. God, this game just goes all over the place, huh? What voice did you hear? Where did the noise come from? Was there a big fellow in black amongst them? Let's get to the point Can here. Can you get a look at them? There's one man, huge, and dressed all in black. Did you see him? No. She already I said didn't. all this to the other guy, so I'm not sure what I'm... I'm just, like, gonna get all the same answers. And where did you hear this noise? Oh, I'm getting speech Everywhere. skill, though. It was chaos. I don't even know how many of them there were. I mean at the very start. Do you remember where you heard the noise come from then? I don't know. I just don't know. Quest log updated. I questioned Zora. God, she has literally said... Do you Nothing. recognize any of the voices you heard? No, but they spoke Czech, cursing like demons, even at each other. At each other? They quarreled? Yes. Something must have happened. Okay, that's a little bit of something. Who saw anything during the raid? question about the raid. Did anyone here see anything? From what I've heard, Mark was the first one to wake. It might be a good idea to talk to him. Jacob, the old stable boy. He even fought with them. Ginger was sleeping in the stable. He might have seen something. I don't know of anyone else. All right. Three people to talk to. Not bad. Not bad. Let's do a little bit of uh, deductive uh, reasoning here, as they say. 
So clearly there's an axe over here. Uh, the guy my father sold an axe to a long time ago, Kunish, he didn't pay for his axe. Uh, also, this here looks like a, a handkerchief that Kunish might have blown his nose on. Ergo, we are on the hunt for Kunish. I am a regular Sherlock Holmes. What is this guy? How could anyone be so cruel? I don't know. I, we've seen a lot more cruelty in this game, to be entirely honest. Can I look at this horse? They really did slaughter them. Why would anyone do that? Oh my really god, it's terrible. Them. Why would anyone do that? Absolutely terrible. Lockpick hard. Open. I wonder how many things I'm... I'm I don't know. Most lockpick in most games just ends up being like... You go in and steal five gold and leave like over and over and over again. So I'm kind of glad I'm not doing it. Nothing really over here. Well, let's try to not step on the victim's head. This is going to be a Jakob. Another useless soldier coming to ask questions. You should have fucking been here last night. Oh, I can bandage him. Did I take a perk for this? I think I did. Actually, show me. I'm going to bandage him up. I think I... Did I take this part? I know I wanted to take it. I can't remember if I took it or not. No, I think you need first aid too. But that's weird that it's going to allow me to do it. Let me see if I can just bandage him. What's wrong with your arm? Oh, oh dear. That looks painful. That's all you got to say about it. You <laughs> useless prick. Yeah, sorry. I don't, I don't have bandaging too yet. Very soon, though, maybe I'll come back and bandage you up. I bet he would have liked me if I had bandaging too right now, which I could have gotten if I didn't rush this main storyline so quickly. And, you know, just frolicked about in the forest a little bit. Anywho, let's see, uh, how were you wounded? How did you come by that wound? I heard someone talking, so I went to look outside. Then I saw what they'd done to the horses. I shouted at those bastards. Caught one by the cloak and started beating him. Without a weapon? With just your fists? Yeah. But he cut me pretty good, the fucker. Lucky for me, the other started to come out then, so the raiders ran. All that's left is his cloak. What in the world happened here? The bastards attacked us. At night, a little before dawn. And you've got no idea why they did it? Something must have gone wrong for them. They ran off without taking anything. I questioned Jakob. Was there a big fellow in black? There's one man in particular. Huge. Dressed all in black. Voice loud enough to crack stone. Did you see him? Who the fuck do you think half killed me? So he really was here. The bastard. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Can you help me? Help you? And how have you helped me? It's a good point. All right, uh, I think there was horse. You discovered horse trader. I can trade my horse. Horse mount and steal. Inspect horse. Let me inspect the horse briefly. My horse pebbles. I don't want to trade pebbles. This horse, however, is thirty speed, two twenty eight capacity versus one seventy two. Eleven courage versus eight, and two ninety versus two ten. See you later, pebbles. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep pebbles. I like pebbles. Like public get I'm tripping over a dead horse corpse, apparently. Inspect, is this any Wow! This one's way faster. Holy okay. Very fascinate. Where am I on the map right now? Just like in relation, Newhoff. Ratai's over there. This is where we were hunting. Townburg is up there. This is the end bottom right of the map. Uh, however, the the map did end over here at one point, and then all this was like, God, that is a, even the stuff I can see is a fairly large bit of territory. But anyway, let's keep uh, inspecting here. How could anyone be so cruel? Talk to the guard. This one got it in the back, and there's more of them over by the main stables. All right, let me go talk to these guys. Okay, or not. Can I pick their flowers? Nope. Whoever planted that garden in the forest is going to be real sad when they come back to see that I pinted, or picked all their meat, or not meat, mint, rather. What the hell is this? I can wash myself in here, but you know what? I'm more intimidating. What the heck? Poor wretch. He must have crawled here. If it was the horses they were after, there'll be even more of them by the main stables. 
I wasn't I wasn't in the main stables. Look at this little peaceful town, though. What a cool place to live, except for when it's getting ransacked by marauders. This guy's tail is pretty straight. So much horse meat, though. I'm just thinking in, like, RimWorld style. Bunch of dead horses. Better, uh... Better choppy choppies and start jerking the meat so I can... Have them for the winter. Is there a winter in this game? Actually, now that I think about it, can you can you play that long? What if you just sat around doing nothing for, like, seven months? Would it start snowing? Oh, it's a smith land! I'm used to this. I know what this is all about. Here we go. Wow. Wow, that is a way bigger stable. That is a big stable. Mark. <laughs> are you... Are you well? Leave me alone. Go away. Okay. Uh, I'll take care of those mongrels. I am pretty seriously strong looking, covered in blood. Let's do it. But there's no need to be afraid. With your help, I'll find those bastards and then I'll make them pay. They, <laughs> they deserve it. What, what do you need to know? What happened? What actually happened here? They, they killed the animals and... <laughs> why did they kill them? Um, did they steal anything? Did they take anything? No. Think carefully now. How did it all start? We... We heard the animals, their shrieks, then smell. He shouted, and they murdered him. The animals died first. You're certain it was the animals first, and then smell, not the other way round. I'm certain. I'd never heard a sound like that before. <laughs> now I'll never forget it. What happened after that? We ran outside, and it was chaos. Animals were dying, the stables were burning. And those demons everywhere. Stables were burning right from the, the start. The stables were already burning. Didn't that happen after they fled? No. It was to set the blaze when they arrived. You said they were demons. No, just vermin. Worthless human vermin. How many of them were there? Not many. There were just a few that came after us, but more around the back. I heard them yelling at each other. What were they yelling? So they were yelling because of all the noise? No, something happened. They quarreled. In the back? Where? Towards the woods. To the north. They were trying to get away. Okay, I need to like, this is, different people are saying different things. I got to get to the bottom of this theater and they're confusing me. Some were fleeing and the others were fighting. So some of them were running away and the others were fighting. Aye, oh, for a time. Then more of us came out and we fought back, so the others fled as well. Where did they Where? flee? Where did they run to? To the north. Into the woods. Explore the area of the north of the farm. Wonderful! Right. That's all I needed to ask. I got somewhere. Now, let me just hit I here really quick. Go check out the quest. This is so... I'm like, Oh yeah, I got a new mission here. C. Explore the area to the north of the farm. Scout the area. No, I'm not scouting the area. I should be looking for tracks and stuff. Question the survivors B. All right, yeah. Question Mark. What is this? Inspect. How could anyone be so cruel? Villager. Do you want to talk to them? See Probably what not. They did here. Kill them. Find those horse and kill them. Guys, just staring at his poor horse. It's all saddled up as well. How the heck? It got like a... It's like it got painted with a line of blood. What the? Oh, no. Shot with an arrow in the, in the kidney. Hey, watch here. No. Wow, the amount of dead things in this series. It's amazing that this series has yet to get demonetized. I really would have expected it to, to be honest. But... It hasn't, unless I go alt tab right now and see that it has. Ginger! I think this is the last guy I need to talk to. What? Who's there? Easy. I just came to ask. I don't know anything. 
Uh, let's see here. Let's get his recollection of what's going on. Are you hurt? No, no, nothing. Not a scratch. What really happened here? I don't know. Someone attacked. I, I don't know who. He seems like he's not telling me the truth. I questioned Jinder. You didn't happen to hear where they came from? No. I didn't see a thing. Hmm. I'm curious. You learn journeymen and apprentices. All right. I don't, I don't know what that is exactly, but I want to look at the quest log for a second. Isn't there, isn't there more info? I could have sworn at some point I had seen... No, I'm just untracking it, retrack. I could have sworn there was something over here in the right where I could see from the very first uh, mission, but now I can't seem to figure out where it is. Maybe I have to toggle quest. There we go, the quest log. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, let's see what I actually have to say about this. The raiders must have left some trace. I should scout out the stud farm. I must scout to the area of the north of the stud farm. I questioned all the witnesses. They were understandably very upset, but I found out which direction the raiders came from. I questioned Ginger, one of the stable boys, about whether he'd seen anything, but I didn't get much out of him. It was clear he was still very frightened. Okay, so my character's take is that he was frightened. My take was that he's lying. But, you know, uh, they kind of manifest themselves the same way. Let's look around for clues. I do like playing those uh, detective games that are like this, walking around trying to... F Except for, like, when there's one little thing you, you have to click on or some puzzle you can't figure out that's really dumb. But other than that, it's really kind of cool doing all like the Sherlock Holmesy type stuff. Uh, in any event, I have a feeling I'm not gonna. S s there's another hus. I should probably go look at the burn down things. Rope, horse. This is a really cool building. It's so big. I wouldn't have expected a stable to be this big in any game, even though in real life, of course, they're huge. But all right, let's um. Let's go look around by the burnt building over here. Now, to me, I don't really understand. So, according to the recollections, this was burnt when they they came here and burnt this. I bet that they were their target was this. The horses were making noise, so they started to kill them. Then everyone's like, "Oh my God, we're making too much noise. This is too dangerous. Let's go." So some of them left, and some of them didn't. This is my guess. Um. I'm piecing together a picture here of what might have happened. I am literally not finding anything of value. Although I did remember there's something over here I could have looked at at some point. No, I guess not. All right, well, let's just go scout out to the north and see what we find. Couple of dogs here. Wash yourself. No, thank you. Oh, hey. I'm glad you stopped by. Who the hell are you and how do you know me by name? What the? What? What? <laughs> Do I have reputation with these folks? Let me go see really quick. Uh, player reputation. This is Newhoff. Yeah, Newhoff Villagers, a hundred. I don't know why they like me so much. Maybe because I told that guy, I was like, I'm going to find him and murder him. And I should have checked beforehand to see what how much of an effect that had on everything. Anyway, so they ran out here to the north. Uh, my mission... Whoops, I hit the wrong button there. I hit it twice. Oh, it's gone. Scout the area. It's still here. Okay, never mind. So I, I did question everybody. That's for sure. There's an activity giver in here near the horse trader. Don't know what that's about. Look at this doofer out here in the field with a pelican in his hand just trotting around, jumping bushes. What a doofus. Medieval art is so strange. Uh, in any event. Around here is where I'm supposed to be looking for something of interest. But I feel like I'm not likely to find it. Let me just get a slightly better bearing. So A is the point of interest, and C is where I need to go scout a little bit. Some archery targets. Well, whatever it is I'm supposed to be looking for, is a guy in here maybe? Hiding in the hay bale? Huh, no idea. All right, well, let's go check out to the north then as we go. It said they were to the north. Yeah, they're out behind the barn. Some of them feed over there. This is on fire as well. I didn't realize that. Okay. That's a strange thing. Maybe they're trying to make a distraction. That's an alternate theory. Working theory number two. 
They were trying to create a distraction, but then why? How is that building on fire? I don't know. Maybe, maybe mm, who knows? We'll see. All right. Here's the road. It's also very dangerous. Like anyone could be laying in a thicket or just trumps out of a tree. <gasps> what the heck is that? And just start randomly attacking me from nowhere. You gotta be careful. You gotta be prepared. Let's go investigate whatever the heck this is. You discovered beehive. Super cool. Honey. Hell yeah. How much honey is this? This is good. This honey lasts forever. I'll take it. Now, it says I'm stealing the honey, but... I don't know if that's really true. Because everything I'm stealing... Let's, let's see if I look on my inventory and I go to food. Yeah, it's not stolen. Alright, well that's good. 111 nourishment and 94 energy. How did I get so, like, high up there? I thought those were going to be, like, lawn gnomes or something that the invaders carved as another distraction. <laughs> nope, it's a beehive. Regular, re regular but evil tactics. Uh, lawn gnomes as distractions. It's like, alright, Hans, you go chop the tree here into a lawn gnome and place it out in the field. We'll run that way and they won't know what the hell to make of it when they get out there to track us. Oh, did I see blood? I did! I did see blood! Hello? Okay. But despite this, I can't actually... Ah, blood again. Okay, I'm getting somewhere. Whoa! There we go! They went deeper and deeper, for sure. Explore the area to the north of the farm. Game saved. Beautiful. Alright. Explore the clearing in the woods. What clearing in the woods? Objective started. Let me zoom out a little bit here. Oh, I gotta go to the north even more. Oh, that's weird. So when I'm in here, it's like a picture, like a portrait. When I zoom out one more, it goes to the world map. And then I can see, like, different things. Oh, interesting. That is so cool how they do the transition so seamlessly. Huh, look at that. That's, like, really good art direction, I feel. Anyway, let's go north and explore the clearing to the woods. It's gonna be objective B here. I'm not sure if I should be doing this alone. I also feel like I didn't do the optional explore objective A, which actually may probably be a smarter thing to do. You know what? Uh, I'm gonna go back uh, really quickly. I'm just gonna. I'm probably not gonna talk through this. It's gonna be boring. I just really want to do this thoroughly. I want to. I want to find whatever I'm supposed to be finding here. Then I'll come back to B, uh, and I'll just like not talk for a couple minutes so I can remember to cut this out because it's gonna be kind of boring. Here we go. Found it. That only took two seconds. Aha. This wasn't done by animals. They must have gone into the woods this way. Okay. Well. Ah, I see. So they were telling me to search for that to lead me here. So I could I could have found it either way. And there's the blood on that thing. And here's kind of a path. Ah. Uh, so I I if I didn't manage to like intimidate. Not Ginger. The other Mark. I think his name was. If I didn't manage to intimidate him. Then I could have found it just by scouting out area A. Okay, I didn't even need to really edit that out. It, didn't, it took like five seconds. It was really fast and surprising. All right. Combat music, right? Let's be smart. Let's be sneaks. I hear him. Let's make sure I have a bow. And let's make sure I have arrows. I do. How many arrows do I have? Which arrows are these? How can I find out very quick? It just says arrows. Uh, weapons. What kind of arrows am I using here? Doesn't even better hunting arrows. I think I've only got. I have to hit. It's so hard to find the number of arrows. I would expect it to just show me when I hover over it, but I gotta like shut this down, move over here to line it up. Ten arrows. Just do it quickly, he said. If you can't hear. Godspeed, brother. I always... Uh, Woo-wee! 
Oh god. You're dead. May not have wanted to do this. Get my sword out. You there we go. Yeah. Sup! I'm a master swordsmith! Yeah. Woo! Check that! Look at this, guys. I'm just having at this guy. Come at me. Come at me. I dare you! Woo! What's up? Stabby stabby. Swingy swing. Okay, come at me again. I dare you. Oh, nice dodge. Nice dodge. You can't keep that up forever. You can't keep it up forever. Come on. Come on. Come on. You want me to make the first move, huh? Huh? Fine, I'll, I'll make the first move. Come at me. Ooh, sup? Should have got in your head. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Sup? Mercy kill. Well, I'm satisfied with my epic swordsmanship. Uh, let us loot, shall we? Brown hose, groschen, hair meat, leather gloves, padded. I'm not even sure if I really should have done that. Maybe I should have just reported. Maybe I should have seen what's going on. Plate count. What the hell's a plate counter? The plate counter is a piece of armor that protects the elbow, one of the most sensitive parts of the combatant's anatomy. It can be afforded even by less well off warriors. All right, piercing arrow. Interesting. So one of the comments before was telling me I really need to pay more attention to armor, which I have not been doing at all because I've just been fighting everyone with padded armor where swords are good. But uh, if people have actual plate armor, I'm going to want to use like clubs and I do not want to have uh, plate armor on when I'm fighting the big guy with the club. So sturdy gambeson working boots. All right. Let us take all of his stuff. I'm not sure how much this all weighs. It doesn't actually look like much except for the gambeson and I do believe I can hold it all. Yeah, actually, not really, for the most part. Let's put that away. The sword here. I am actually overburdened already. And the other guy was over here. He was killing him or putting him out of his misery, it looked like. Let's loot him as well. Poor guy. As he was killing his friend, I put him out... Or, uh, bloody hoof pick. This seems important. A hoof pick. Originally... So it's stuck in the belly of one of the bandits who raided the Newhoff stud. What? Why is that a quest item? Let's quote unquote steal it. Brown felt hat. I just want to. Okay, since I'm really um, Merigold decoction. Ooh. Let's do this. Let's sort by wealth since I'm running out of inventory space. Ooh, padded chosses. I don't have any of that myself. Let's take it. Hunter's gloves. I want to take everything that's worth a lot of money. Hunting boots, 71. We'll take the decoction. Oh, I think I actually physically just take it. There we go. No, I, I can do it. It's just, you have, there's a delay is all. We'll take his groschen, 23. I'm getting rich. This is actually super awesome. Whoops, I just took something else by mistake. Uh, let's take his... You know what? Let's actually take his drinking water and just drink it right now. And otherwise, we'll leave the rest of this stuff here. I got to get rid of like 18 pounds. Oh, what was the quest? I didn't see it. Find the owner of the hoof pick from Newhoff, objective started. Search the bandit, explore the clearing in the woods, objective completed. I'm a little confused as to what I'm supposed to be doing here, but let's first just have a, a bit of a drink, shall we? Do I need the wine? No, I, I really don't. What do I need to get rid of here that weighs a ton, of, a ton of weight? Let's look at our armor really quick and equip some stuff. These leather gloves are better than ours because they provide a little bit more defense. So you know what? Why don't I equip them? Looking good. Padded chosses. We don't even have such a thing. That's going to increase my leg plate from 111 to 569. It will leave my charisma the same. And it actually doesn't increase my noise all that much. And it makes me less conspicuous and less visible. Okay? Fantastic. These ones were stolen, interestingly enough. Not exactly. I can't. I, can't, I just. I cannot understand the, the system of thievery in this game. It makes no sense to me. Like what? It says stolen all the time, and then it's not. Ooh, plate. Ah, plate. Cooters. These actually look like they're significantly worse than our arm armor, as they say. No, that's not arm. I mean, it is arm armor, but they're like vambra wooden vambraces or something like that. Okay. Well. I feel like we're doing uh, okay here. I probably don't need to pay too much more attention to the rest of their stuff. Let's sort by weight. Sturdy Gambeson. I'm actually not even wearing anything, so that wouldn't be bad. It would increase my noise. I did sneak up there as something to consider. 
So this would make me a lot noisier, but give me a bunch of armor, which may be helpful. I think we should probably equip it. Okay, now I definitely need to find something to drop because I am overburdened to the moon. And you know what? It's actually going to have to be the sturdy gambeson. It's just, it's worth too much weight. 11 weight. We'll throw that in the ground. Beautiful. Uh, let's... Let's find the things that weigh the most, but are the cheapest, like these hunting boots. They're not very good. I don't want to throw out anything. You know what? I'm just going to cobble back to town, I think. Let's check out the map here really quick. Yes, let's go back there. I can't run, unfortunately, because I'm overburdened, but maybe I can find someone and sell them all this loot. I just don't want to give up on the loot. I think I do want to take the pack mule perk now very badly. Can I take it actually right now, by chance? Main level one. No, it was, it was under strength, actually. And my it's right here, mule. My next... I don't know when my next talent point is. Oh, I have to queue for info? Uh, current XP required, XP 230 progress. You get strength perks at every other level up. Okay, I have no idea when I got my last one. Or when... I'm, I think I just got tight grip, so it's probably going to be eight. It's going to be a long time until I can get that pack mule. And by then, I'm not even sure if I'll want it, because maybe I'll have better armor that, that weighs less. Well, at least I remember to use my bow, so that happens, which is pretty good. How the heck would I ever be able to wear plate mail? I have to get strength, like, super, super high. Here's a question. If I'm running around massively overburdened all the time, is that going to increase my strength? In fact, let me find out on myself instead of asking questions that I have to wait for the answer for. So this strength, current XP, 45. And then I'll check it again before I go talk to somebody. Now, I'm really not sure, should I have listened more and watched that guy, observed a little bit, or what? I have no idea. I'm pretty sure I remember someone saying it's possible to win this game without actually killing anyone. But heck if I know how to do that, I mean... I don't have the faintest clue, to be honest. Alright, here's the, here's the lake. Can I wash myself in the lake? No, apparently not. And it looks like I can overburden myself a lot more than I am. Because I only have a barely a tiny bit of yellow. So if I really wanted to... Oh, hello. A little blood splatter. Uh, if I really wanted to, I could probably carry like 8,000 pounds of stuff. Let me look at the map quickly and see if there's anyone I can trade to. I know there's this guy in here. An activity giver directly to the south. Also, I wonder how often that honey hive uh, right here on the map regenerates honey. That would be good to know. Also, what is this up here? Unexplored place? Okay, well, I guess we'll never know. There's an activity giver in here, though. Yes, welcome! You like me because of that one time I talked to the one guy. Where the heck is that activity giver? I'm like on top of him. It must... No idea. All right, well, I'm pretty much done. Let's talk to Bernard. There were bandits here. Two of them. Right there, to the north in the woods. What? You saw them? They attacked me and I... They're dead. You killed them? <laughs> One of them. <laughs> the other was already dying. He had this on him. It must be from the stud farm. All right. Ask the folk here about it. I'll take the men and scout the woods. Men! Oh. We know where they are. Follow me! Hey, you killed, killed them? I swear I won't let them destroy it, Smee. Okay, I just wanted to really quickly check to see if my um, well, strength went up from 45. Answer? Nope. Bandit's hoofpick. You don't know who this hoofpick might belong to. It's for cleaning hoofs, and so I thought that... I know whose it is. Why do you ask? What? Where did you find it? In the woods. The bandits who were still alive were talking about it. My God. How could he? I don't understand. I don't even want to believe it. What do you mean? Ginger. Aha! I'm he acted right. strange after the attack. Everyone was shaken up, but he couldn't even look me in the eye. And now he's vanished. Never said a word to anyone, just left. Ginger, you say? Could he be mixed up in it? Not only and I am a veritable god of swords play, but I am a Sherlock Holmes on top.
Holy mother of heavenly hash browns. He did act very suspiciously. Yes, like, exactly. I don't believe he'd have dealings with them. Oh, no, I believe he would. I'll try to find him and find out more. He did act very suspiciously. His behavior was suspicious. New level. So you noticed it too? Mother of God. I don't even want to think of it. So many dead. Uh, I'll try to find him and find I'll out try more. try to find him and learn the truth about this whole thing. After you do, please come and tell me what really happened. Even if it's just to say where his body is. Uh, where could he have gone? Do you know where Ginger could have gone? Not an inkling. Jakob hired him. Try asking him. Okay, will do. I love how I actually somehow know everyone's names. Like, this is Zora, Ginger's out there. We talked to Mark, and that's how everyone likes us in the town. Jakob's over here. Like, almost no game I've ever played with a role-playing game can I remember anyone's name. And in here, they all just stick for some reason. They're so mundane, too. They're just... Like, they're just... Doofuses. All of them. And yet they stand out. They're like... They're like... They're like... Charismatic doofuses. I guess, basically, that's the entire reason why my channel has any viewers at all. So I shouldn't be talking, but... Uh, Hoofpick, any idea where Ginger might... Let's start with... Uh, let's talk about Ginger first. Any idea where I might find this Ginger? Well, that's the thing. He packed up and left. What? Look, I, I know how he looks, but Ginger is a fine fellow. I, I don't believe he had anything to do with the attack. Yeah, but you're kind of a dullard, so who would believe you? Uh, Where could he have fled to? I, I might know, but you got to promise me one thing. When you find him, listen to what he has to say before judging. Mm, fine. You have my word. Sometimes the charcoal burners come to see him. He gets on well with them. I think that's where he's gone. And where is that? No idea. <laughs> They've always kept to themselves, you know, charcoal burners. But the forest is full of folk like that. They could be anywhere. Aye, except these ones won't be far. If you follow the stream from the stud farm towards Rate, you'll come across one of their camps. Only... Only what? Ginger didn't go that way, though. He always went by the big road, through the woods in the direction of Ujits. But how can I find them? There's always smoke when they work. <laughs> You'll smell them before you see them. And they need to be near water. There's that too. So if I go through the woods along running water, I'll find them? Exactly. All right. Another, uh, <laughs> roam around in the forest looking for things quest. That's beautiful. Here's the thing. I got too much stuff I'm carrying. I need to get rid of it somehow. G Ginger in the pickle? That's fantastic. Hey, buddy. Question the charcoal burners in the south. Find Ginger, the missing Newhoff stable boy. So he, yeah, he actually said I needed to go to, um... Hold on, I'm looking for charcoal burners. Do you know in of any area. charcoal burners in the region of Neuhof? Now, let me think. Hmm. It's a nice camera angle. Very There's XCOM. There's crossroads halfway between Neuhof and Ratai. One road goes east to the farm, and from there you can see the creek and the other side of the hill. There's some of them thereabouts. Thank you. Okay, uh, I didn't. I didn't follow that at all. I'm going to ask you her again. Do you know of any charcoal <laughs> burners in the region? As far as I know. There's some in the woods by the creek, about halfway between Neuhof and Gretchenik Mill. This is a, this is a whole... Is Thank she you. just spitting lies? Oh, come on. Do you know of any charcoal? Now, let me think. Okay, here we go. Halfway between Neuhof There's and Ratai. Halfway between Neuhof One and Ratai. One road goes east to the One farm. One road goes east to the farm. And from there, you can see the creek and the other side of the hill. There's some of them thereabouts. Okay, halfway between Neuhof... Okay, let me get out of here, please. I need to look at the map. Quick, 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 quick. On the road between Newhoff and Ratai. Ah, there we go. I actually questioned the charcoal burners in the south. It was there the whole time, I guess. I didn't really... So, yeah, here's the farm, and then to the east of the stream, I th there's a hill. I don't know if I really want to put that together without seeing the A on the map, to be entirely honest. Um, what is this up here? Activity giver. I think that's... Uh, can I come over here and sell something? Like, I really need to sell stuff. Oh, my hus! I can just go pack my hus full of stuff. My hus stuff. Oh god, now I've now I've done it. Oh, never mind. I'm good. I just tripped there in a piece of log. Where's my hus? Hus in the barn. 
how you say it when you're from uh, the northeast. Although, to be fair, I don't have a freaking clue where I parked my bus. Uh, here we go, outside, right. At the, uh, the tie post or whatever. You know what? I should probably actually take my horse to him, so... Is this him? Oh, I can just hit X, right? There we go! Hey, us! I have no idea which one you- Oh! Whoa, 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 Pebbles! Whoa, Pebbles! Can I rename you by chance? Okay, while I'm heated very quickly, let me hit the I. Ye old horse, there we go. Tack, plain bridle. This is so cool, your horse could have tack, plain saddle. That's awesome. Horseshoes, cover, body armor, head armor. Oh my lord, Pebbles, you and me to the end of days. To the end of days. Inventory, 182 pounds. All right, how do I put stuff on it though? Move to horse X. Well, that's how I do it. All right, let's get rid of this. Uh, let's just find all the garbage I'm going to sell. And then we'll just move it to the horse. Awesome. Awesome McPossum, friends. It looks like I in am indeed... Okay, can I wear that shard yet? I don't think I actually can. Minimum agility three. Hold on. Hold on. Hold the phone here. What am I actually wielding over here is my question. Let me go to my armor first, or my weapons rather, for a second. So I'm wielding the shard. What happened to my old sword? I, did I leave it? I left it behind the page's sword. Yeah, because I didn't think I could actually use it. Okay, that's where that went. So let's get rid of this again. Uh, common bassinet. We've already got one. Let's drop that on the hus. Van braces. I'm wearing those. Oh, wait. I just put the my helmet that I was wearing in the horse. Whoopsie daisy. Let's move that to my inventory. It's a little bit clunky, I, I will say. Let's um, equip the helmet again. The tunic weighs three. We'll throw that in the husk. What am I? What is my weight here? Eighty out of ninety. Ideally, I would like as much stuff as possible. You know, I could put this on. It w it wouldn't lower my charisma anymore for whatever reason. So let's do that. Although my charisma is only four, it feels it feels like it got lowered at some point. This padded quaff here makes me a little bit noisier, but it increases my armors from ten, twelve, eight to twelve, fifteen, thirteen. That is a lot better than mine. Let us equip it. I don't look any different, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then these plate things, yeah, these are actually straight up worse. Let's move them on the Huss. Great, great. Uh, this thing, I don't think we need to worry about that at all. Let's throw that. You know what? Actually, this is Scallet's Waffen Rack. Let's equip that. It looks more, it looks more, it's like the same kind of armor, but it looks more like our style. I, I, I identify with it more. Let's move this thing to the horse. Great. Working boots. Um, these don't seem to be any real. Better than mine. Move them to the hus. Yellow gray tunic. Oh, I don't even have a tunic on. Oh wow. Okay, that gives me a little bit more armor, and it increases my charisma. Hell yeah! It's stolen for whatever reason. I'll equip that then until I make it dirty. Apparently, when you make things dirty, it hides the fact that they're stolen, and no one can differentiate them anymore. I find that to be fascinating. Uh, here we go. Let's put this one on because the male collar is better than the one we're wearing. Fantastic. And then we can... I don't even have any pants on, but if I put them on, my charisma gets lowered. Which... It, nope. Actually, the red hose doesn't do that. Let's equip this then. Look at this, guys! I'm like... Look at me! I'm like Friar Tuck up in this uh, proverbial house, as they say. This is fantastic. We'll move this out of here to Hunter's Gloves. Are these better than mine? No, they're exactly the same. Let's get rid of them. Uh, get rid of them. Get rid of them. The only thing I hate is the delay when you hit the button until the thing actually shows up where it needs to go. So that was good. I can't... If I remember correctly, that bow I can't even use, and it weighs three pounds. Let's move that in the horse now. How much do these things weigh? Bludgeon I want to keep. Just in case I find someone with armor or whatever, I want to switch over and not use the sword anymore. My food doesn't... Why am I carrying 62? I guess it's everything I'm wearing. Just my gear. It's like super heavy. Interesting. How's my food? 106. I'm looking good there. This weighs nothing. And otherwise, I think that's as good as I can do. All right. Well, got 107 Groshen as well. I'm getting rich. Let us move uh, to the primary quest down here. This is nice. I'm going to do a bit of a run, though. A bit of a gallop. Get my horseman skill up. The more I gallop, the faster I should race. What? He knows me! They all know me in town! Yeah, there we go! You've reached a new level in horsemanship! I am galloping all over the place, me and Pebbles. 
Wow. This is just a cool... Oh, hello. Hi, friends. Wouldst thou knowest where there might be a coal burner then? Nope, no such luck. I'm pretty sure it's right over here. Oh, did I cross the stream yet? I'm not sure. Is this the stream here? Am I about to cross it? Oh, pebbles! Jump! Nice, pebbles. Nice. I don't want to upgrade pebbles is the thing. I want pebbles until the end days. Like I know she's like the slowest, lamest horse, but you don't know what? She's my horse. I'm going to stick with her. You discovered camp. New codex entry. Okay, that's where I wanted to go. Find me some... There he is! I think that's actually him right over there on the side. Let's uh, hop off of Pebbles, give her a, a minute to re rejuvenate here. And let's go talk to this coal burner. Hey, friend. I can see him right there, I think. Because he had green on. Maybe not. God be with you. God, that guy's a mess. I'm looking for a stable boy from Neuhof. Then why aren't you looking for him at the stud farm? Because he fled from there and supposedly went to see some charcoal burners. Well, he didn't come here. You'll have to try elsewhere. What? Are you sure that's not him right there? He was. If nah. you want to ask questions, talk to me and leave the others in peace. <laughs> After I talk to the others. Jesus Christ, be praised. Every time they say that, I feel like they're like getting angry or whatever. I need help in my search. Could you help me? Depends what you want, doesn't it? I'm looking for Ginger, a stable boy from Neuhof. They say he ran away and joined up with some charcoal burners he used to hang around with sometimes. Sorry. There's never been a lad called Ginger around here. You have to try somewhere else. All right. I I'm uh, pretty sure we're not getting anywhere here. Uh, let's see. I hope you're not lying to me. That boy is a witness to a murder. Where else might he have gone? Let's, let's try the speech here. Because I do have a six in speech. I'm getting better at it. Getting a lot better. A murder has been committed at Neuhof, and that boy likely knows who did it. It's vital I find him. There's been murder aplenty in these parts of late. But that ginger lad really hasn't been here. There'll be a lot less murdering going on once I bring those bastards to justice. So how about helping me out? Calm down, lad. Mm. For the love of God. There's been no one like the boy you want round here. But then again, there are other charcoal burners. Try them. You might want to hurry. You're not the first to be asking about him. And the others weren't exactly a noble-looking bunch. Although they were generous with their silver. They didn't happen to say what they wanted him for? No, but they definitely didn't look like they wanted to invite him to a feast. Okay. I love how everyone speaks in, like, opposite uh, exaggerations. It's like, are you going to the park today? It's like, well, I'm sure not going to the moon today. Good lord, guys. Uh, I hope you're not lying to me. Where? Uh, where mm, 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 I don't think he's lying to me. Where else may he have gone? Do you gone? have any idea where else he could have gone? You said he was friends with the charcoal burners? Well, you'll definitely find some in the forest between Neuhof and Ujets. There's good spots around there. But that forest is huge. I could spend weeks searching. Then follow the river. That's how you found us, isn't it? Where there's charcoal burners, there's always water nearby. All right, well... All right, I'll go and ask somewhere else. Or some of the northern uh, charcoal... Okay, now I have to question the charcoal burners in the south. That was my question, because I have literally no idea where the other town is that they're talking about. Oh, I question the ones... That, wait, I, I thought I was in the north. Okay, so I question those ones in the south. I've got to come up here and search the river, but it's getting kind of late. I'm not sure... Let me take a look here. Yeah, I only got, like, an hour and a half until bed. Question the charcoal burners in the south. Okay, that's what we did. Okay, I, I got it confused, that's all. I thought I was in the north already. This is a cool little place, though. These guys are burning charcoal. Fascinating. So they, like, grab a million logs, throw them in here, burn them, cover them in sand, and then they take them out, and then they have these, like, ultra-cool things. Huh. I've never actually seen that done, but it's pretty fascinating because it was, like, a real serious job back then. Imagine, like doing this. It's both simultaneously peaceful and also incredibly, incredibly awful at the same time. Huh. Well, oh, I don't want to run into you. Let's come over here really quick. Look inside. Now the question is, should I go take a nap for the night? Oh, hello? Lockpick very hard, you, you say. I'm just gonna help myself to some of your apples, friends. No, I'm not gonna actually do that. I'll get caught for sure. I don't know how I'll get caught, but I'll get caught for sure. Plus, I'm a noble lad. I only steal when I'm told to by, by females. 
What the hell are you doing? Why are you posing in front of my horse? What the? What are you doing? You guys hear that? There's like howls of wolves and such out there. Should I be scared for riding at nighttime? I don't know. I really don't know. They did say time's of the essence, so I'm actually going to risk it. I'm going to go right there in the nighttime. Good thing I took that perk. Uh, let's take a look. A perk that increases my energy or stamina or whatever it is. Somehow I still have 104 nourishment. That's crazy. 99 health, 88 energy. I'm missing leg plate, leg chain mail. And I'm missing body chain mail, body plate. And I'm missing an offhand. That's right. Didn't I have a so uh, shield? I thought that I did. But I must have put it in the chest when I went out with, uh, with Hans. I don't have any spurs and I don't have any neck chain. All right, let's hit the road, Pebbles. We're going to do a full-on gallop. we got to get there before the sun goes down, and we got to search the river. I may be searching the river... What the... What the hell? Okay. I may be searching the river at nighttime. This is the thing. This is so fun. I don't know what about it. It's just so simple and so fun. Jump, Pebbles! I want to rename Pebbles. My, my de facto role-playing horse name was Anir Fieldiak. But that's a, that's a that's a subtly known thing, or uh, unknown thing, not very well known thing. Yeah, I don't think subtly known thing is the right word. Look at this! The sun's going down. I'm just trampsing through like the field of flowers and overgrown grass. In modern days, this is probably all like streets and freaking pavement and shopping malls. Hello. The cool thing is you can actually look it up in modern days. I mean, you could go... What the hell? Pebbles! No! No, Pebbles! Oh, God, no! Pebbles! No! Get out of there. Oh, God, she's getting tired. All right, let's give her a minute to, to rest up here. Oh, she rests up really fast, and so do I. Look at this. Look at that. That is cool. The uh, god beams, like, shooting through the sun, or th through the trees. That is just super nice! Okay, hold on, F12. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do individual screenshots yet or not for each episode. I kind of wanted to, but... I don't know. I'm not sure if they're gonna... I, I don't know, we'll see how it works out. When I try to put it in and... Alright, here's a question. Where the heck am I? Am I even close? Yes, I am. All right, so we just keep going up here. Now, I don't remember if there were any additional clues because I was confused when they were giving me directions. For some reason, even in real life, if people give me directions someplace I've never been before, it goes in one ear and just out the other. Same deal in the game. They're like, follow the river or past the old Ben freaking Cottonwood or whatever. I'm like, nah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what you're saying. Could you explain again? I just need to do it myself, and then, I, then I'll just- it'll be committed to memory for the rest of my life. Oh, hey, hello! Charcoal burners! Well, that certainly wasn't hard. Is that him right there? Whoa! Pebbles, you're just the dramatic horse, you. You silly goose. You always being the dramatic one, showing off for the crowd. All right, let's get over here. This looks a lot like Ginger, charcoal burner. I guess not. Good day to you. What do you need? Looks like him. That, that's him. That's... Do you know where him? I could find Ginger? Who? The stable boy from Neuhof. I've heard he's friends with some charcoal burners. Ah, I know who you mean. He went not long ago to the charcoal burners by Tomberg. Tomberg! Just follow the stream to the west. Okay, how do I know he's telling the truth? I really don't, and there's no one else here to find out, so... Let's, uh, let's get back on Pebbles. It's definitely, the sun is going down, so time, come on, Pebbles. Silly goose, get off that rock. Here's the stream. There's a rabbit. Rabbit's a huge, there's another rabbit. So what I want to do is follow the stream to the west. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's going to be so rough. Eh, it's not that bad. Actually, the road's right here. Dogs up there in the north. This is so scenic. What the? 
That's right, I have to trap those nightingales that I had completely forgotten about. That didn't sound like them, though. Oh, don't, don't, don't fall, pebbles. We discovered nest. That means there's prop. This sound like the nightingales. Now, here's the thing. They said they were outside, the, on a hill outside of a town. There's a nest here. I don't know what town it was, but it's not one that I've seen or can remember. Let me just quickly look at my quest log for that. Under all bird in the hand. No, that's to learn something. A good thief, mightier than the sword. What the heck is it, actually? Give me a favor, scavenger? I have no idea which one it is. Oh, do I have to show it? No. Find the treasure. Find the nightingales. Ah, it's way down here. Okay, I, well, I think it's down there. That or I have no idea where it is. But it's near a town that I can't see. All right, let's look at the quest log. Van, Van, Vranik, right. All right. That's what it is. You know what? I shouldn't be in there looking at that because I think time still passes when I'm doing that. And I think it just got... Oh! What the hell? Friends? Stop block on the road! What is this? Body dead, grab body loot. Traitor. My respects to you. Uh... This is an awkward conversation. What have you done? Did you kill her? What are you trying to pin on me, you bastard? It... It was you! I didn't kill anyone. The corpse was already lying there when I got here. What are you doing here? Nearby a corpse. <laughs> Nearby a murder. <laughs> hey, I got plus three, because this guy's a common folk. Hell yeah! Um... But unfortunately, I don't have any speech, so I'm gonna have to go for I'm hunting cumins here. I'm looking for cumins. I'm killing any I find. Q? Not Ooh. likely. Horseshit. You're all covered in her blood. Damn it. How, I had an eight strength and he had a three and he beat me. Okay. Oh, here we go. I was ambushed by cumins because I have six plus three and he's got a nine. It's my own blood. Some cumins ambushed me and I got cut. And now you're trying to pin this killing on me. Well, it's true. It ain't safe in these parts. I've got a funny feeling about you. But I can't be absolutely sure you did it. I'm relieved to hear it. What the hell kind of conversation are we having right now? And what are you doing here? What exactly were you doing here, anyway? What are you getting at? The tables have turned, friend. You were looting the body. What is the star? Admit it. It would be easier. If he can do it, so can I. It'll be easier for you if you confess. I don't have to listen to this. Damn it. You're full of shit. <laughs> We're just going round and round here. I'll drag you to the bail of myself. I could drag you off to Ratai myself and let the bailiff decide. You bastard. Wow. How dare you? Right, one more time. I think I should go and report you. They'll listen to me. Your word isn't worth Damn a turd. It. And I'm sure they know it. This is insane! What, what am I doing right now? I'm trying to, like, out-bluff a bluffer on a random dead body in the street? Middle of the forest. You were looting the body. You were looting the body right here on the road. What of it? A corpse doesn't need possessions. I know what happened. I won't leave criminals to roam the roads. Oh, really? I tell you, if you try and pin something on me I haven't done, the whole fucking province will get to hear of it! I'm actually not sure he committed the murder. Bloody hell, I had all those stats, too, and I failed every single one. Oh, mm, I'm not sure he committed the murder, though. I'm He's not, sorry. He had no blood on him. It seems you really didn't do it. Well! That happens! Should I now loot the dead body? Now, I'm pretty sure... If I- if he sees me doing this, I'm gonna be stealing, so... I gotta be careful! And again, he was just looting the body. Whoa! Decorated cot. Decorated dress. 162. 108. 5. A wimple. 25. This stuff is valuable. But it says stealing. 
But how do I know if it's actually stealing, though? Because it's a corpse. Then again, I, I did uh, at the very beginning of the game, they're like, oh, don't steal from the corpses, but that's a lot of money. Yeah, I'm going to let it go. I'm going to let it go. Can I bury her? Do I have a shovel? Can I dig a grave? Uh, I just have to leave a dead body. Oh, wait, can I carry her with me? Let's go. Pick her up. F. Can I put her on the horse by chance? It's getting late here. We got other things to get to. Drop. E. Well, that didn't really go the way I wanted. <laughs> I guess I can't put bodies. Oh, that's unfortunate. Let me actually, let me inspect her a little bit here. Is she cut? So she has a cut in her cheek. I can't really see what's going on with her. Huh. Well, it's, uh, maybe if I had a shovel, I could dig a grave, but uh, I'm on the king's... Wait a minute. What's this? Can I link this pool of... Oh, that's just a... It's a. It looked green to me, like some sort of ooze, but it's just a pool of blood, and then it's getting really dark. I hate to leave the corpse here, but I can't do anything about it, I don't think. Because I couldn't mount unless I dropped. Let me just check one more time. I'll, I just want to be 100% sure here. Let's grab the body. I have no shovel to dig a grave. It's getting really dark. Yeah, I can't mount. This can't be done while you're carrying someone. All right. Wasn't? What was that? Is that something to come to eat the corpse? Isn't there a, um, a quest? Not a quest, but a perk that allows you to carry a, a body on a horse? Grave digger. What is this one? Carrying dead or unconscious bodies won't cost you any stamina, and they will burden you only half as much. Interesting. So you can just go around digging graves. Mule 2, Mule 3. Uh, fascinating. I do have one thing for warfare here we could we could take. Either blood letter. You have a greater chance of drawing your opponent's blood. Or rusty edge. The more damage your sword, the greater your chance of poisoning your opponent when you hit him. Even without poison applied to your weapon. If you do have poison on a damaged weapon, the chances of administering it are increased by half. Interesting. But... I have no idea how destroyed my weapons are going to be. I should be doing armor, like, healing my weapons every once in a while and keeping them sharp. So I'm probably better off doing Bloodletter. I think I should probably do that. Um, the next perk isn't until level 8, so I got plenty of time. Let's go for the Bloodletter. Greater chance of drawing your opponent's blood. I will learn that one very well. And then for Sword, I've got one as well. Ooh! These are combos, it looks like. Blunt Strike. Rhythm. Stab. Slash. Slash. Instead of a, of a started strike from the right... Okay, I should really be doing this later, because I think it's getting... Yeah, it's literally getting dark here. Okay, let's... Uh, for good sakes, where am I? All right, let's mark this spot. I think I can put a marker right there. That's going to be the corpse. Great. Now, let's put my torch on. Is that under weapons? Yes. There we go. What the heck? How do I... Can I not use it when I'm on the horse? I have no idea. All right, let's try to get there before it actually gets super, super dark, because I'm not sure if I can have a torch out while I'm riding. I assume I could, but I honestly don't. There we go. Found it. Found it just in the nick of time. These guys might all be going to bed, or they might already be in bed, but I'm going to wake them up. Yep, they're already in bed. Oh, God! Pebbles, you silly goose! <laughs> Jumping in the fire. Uh, I'm not even doing that intentionally. I'm just like, oh hi, did I did I wake you up? Coal burner twin. Good day to you. Listen, listen, friend. I'm looking for a person, a suspect in a murder case, and there's also a dead body on the street. Many things are afoot here. You better be straight with me. I'm looking for Ginger, a stable boy from Neuhof. Do you know where I might find him? Well. If you go south from here, you'll come across Old Andrew's Inn on the road. If you go along the road from there to the east, you'll reach Neuhof. I know where Neuhof is. The boy isn't there. Ah, I see. I can't help you then. I've never noticed anyone of that description around here. This guy's being like a super doofus? That's odd. The charcoal burners by the stream told me they know Ginger and that he comes to visit you. Horseshit! They probably just said that to get rid of you. Nobody likes a stranger sticking his nose into their business. It's the business of my liege lord. I'm here because of what happened at Neuhof, and that boy knows something about it. Let me talk to him. Hold your horses. First, prove you're with the garrison. How? You want me to bring the whole garrison here? If there's no other way. 
because there's been two brutes asking after him too. Hmm. And they look like they'd cut his throat without blinking. Objective started. Kill the bandits! I have more important things to do. All right, I'll do it. Uh, I'm gonna... What do you mean I've dealt with them? There's no way... What, what am I lying about? That I dealt with the bandits? Or that I've dealt with the garrison? I thought I am... I thought I legitimately have dealt with the bandits and have dealt with the... Oh, I've dealt with them. I see. Like, I've taken care of them. There's no other, if there's no other way, I have more important things to do. I want to just do this speech and see if I can get better at speaking, even though it's a lie. I don't want to be lying, pair. though. I happened to run into them and, uh, well, it didn't end well for them. <laughs> Very convincing. Really? really? And I suppose I have to take your word for it. If you want proof, I can take you to them. Hmm. Maybe I should have brought you their heads. I'll take your word for it. All right. A bargain's a bargain. Ginger is hiding out in a ruined hut not far from here. You go along the road to Ujits until you see a path to the right that leads to a small spring. There's an overgrown path that leads from there right to where Ginger is. Keep your eyes peeled, though. You could easily miss it. Good. Thanks for your help. Oh, God. I didn't even really follow that. Find Ginger, the missing Newhoff stable boy. All right, friends. It's getting really... What the hell are you doing? Alright, why can I- okay, my torch was never on. There we go. There we go. Now we're talking. It's up here. Find Ginger the missing Newhoff stable boy. This was literally where I was before boar hunting. He's in the same spot, almost, as where the ambush took place. I th No, actually, the ambush was over here, maybe? Or over no, it's up here actually at camp. Never mind. He's just out in the forest. Alright. Well, let's go find him. Hopefully I can use my torch while on the horse this time. Yes! Okay, good. I just screwed it up before was the only problem. They want me to follow the path. Oh, there because there was a path actually back here. It's hard to see with that torch in my eyeballs, but you know what? It's like that in real life, too. Winding. All right, we're going to come up here then. What, what was that? It's so nice at nighttime. This is so cool. Look at this. All right, he did say I'm going to miss the path if I'm not paying attention. So, of course, I'm coming out here at nighttime. Having never been here before. You discovered accident. Is this something I should investigate really quick? Oh, hello, evil rabbit. What are you doing? I'm a guy on a horse. Are you kidding me? Yeah, you better run. Good lord. I don't think I need to... Well, you know, I want to investigate really quick because I saw one of these earlier and I didn't get the chance to investigate. I'm just kind of curious. I think it's just a waypoint, though, or whatever. Or maybe later something could spawn here or something like that. I don't know. But yeah, it seems like nothing's really going on. All right, Pebbles, into the darkness we go. Now, he's up here to the right. He did say if I... Oh, is this it? No. All right, I'm getting away from it, though, is the thing. I'm just going to cut into the woods because I have the marker. Come on, Ginger, you scallywag. Gonna imagine how scary it would be, like, sleeping in the forest at night and you hear, like, a guy on a horse with a torch coming directly at you through the thicket. Holy. Oh. There we go. This is it. Why would he be hiding out in this hut? This is like a witch's hut. Good lord. You, you toss some pumpkins up here. A few dangling, uh napkins on lollipops from the trees to look like ghosts and voila this is a right old horror scene i'll tell you what uh-huh he's alive no way out i'm blocking the road it's not my fault there was no oh yeah we'll see about Jesus. that you've led me a merry dance what do you want from me i want to ask you a couple of questions why did you run off like that where are your cronies? And why did you kill that bandit? What? Right, one thing at a time. 
Find Ginger the Mr. Boy. Why did you run? Why did you run off in such a hurry? B because I was afraid they'd come back and kill me. Who? Those, those bandits, of course. To get revenge on you for killing their mate. Killing? Me? I, I never killed anyone. God is my witness. It says with bloody hands, maybe. It could be just dirty hands. I can't really tell. I'm looking for your friends. Where are they? The charcoal burners? They're over at the... To hell with the charcoal burners. Where are your bandit mates? The, they're not my mates. They, they nearly killed me. I recognized one of them, so I thought they'd come back and... Recognize? Who was it? Talk! I d don't know his n name, only that he's from Ushets, and he has a limp. All right, I found something here. Tell me about the limping one. What can you tell me about him? How do you know him? I saw him a few times in the tavern in Ushets, playing dice and boozing. And? I know he lives in a house on the edge of the village, but that's all I know. I never talked to him. Why did you kill that bandit? Which bandit are we talking about now? I'm low enough. I'll leave now. Tell me everything. Okay, just tell me everything that happened first because I'm a little confused. And now tell me exactly what happened. And don't leave anything out. That's quite a long story. Well, that's what we're, we're three hours into the episode. Tell me this story. All I want to know is who to look for. No, I want to hear the whole story. Don't worry. I won't get bored. All right. I woke up in the middle of the night because I needed to go for a piss. So I went out into the dark, same as usual, only... Only there was something there that shouldn't have been. At first I thought it was just a trick of the light, but it wasn't. And then it was too late. They went past and I thought they must be horse thieves. I would have yelled, only I was afraid they'd kill me. So I waited until they were out of sight and I started to sneak away, but then... Then the slaughtering started. Yes. I thought they'd steal the horses and ride off. That would be bad enough. But then all the killing started and flames everywhere. And, well, it was terrible, like hell itself. And then? It, it seemed some of them didn't like it either. They started squabbling among themselves, and some of them started running back where they came from, right towards me. And I had that thing in my hand, the hoof pick. So you stabbed the first one in the belly? No. No. He ran right into me. He was running fast for a fellow with a limp. He pushed me aside and I fell on the ground. Then he told me I'd better lie low if I valued my life. And he ran off with the others. And I, I did what he said and hid. Then the rest of the gang ran past. And then? Then, then I waited in case that limping one from Ushitz came back. I didn't dare come out until I was sure. I think it was almost light. Um, I want to know about the others. What about the others? Was there anything you noticed about them? Uh, I don't know. There, there might have been maybe eight of them, and two of them were really big. That's all I can remember. Do you know what they argued about? I didn't hear everything, but I reckon some of them were only there to steal and wanted no part in the killing. Hmm. That sounds terrible. I know exactly how you feel. If only I yelled. Maybe they... <laughs> if you had, you'd most likely be dead. It probably wouldn't have done any good anyway. But still... There was nothing you could do. Seems like my character's learning! He's becoming his father of sorts. That's all. All right, so I, I still don't know what bandit... Oh, right. We, he, we are, he just answered that because he stabbed him. He didn't really kill him, though. He just wounded him. Uh, I still want to know Why what he says. Why did kill that bandit? What? Bandit? I never killed anyone. This is yours, isn't it? I pulled it from the belly of a dead bandit near the stud farm. That is mine, but I didn't stab him. That fellow took it from me. Interesting. Well, I know what... Wait a minute. Is there something else here? tell me exactly what happened. And don't leave any... That's... You don't have to tell me... I only reckon... What else, Gina? Nothing. Okay, go, 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 go. Okay, yeah, it's the same. I don't know why it's still white instead of grayed out. It must be just a bug or something. Unless there's something I'm missing somehow, but I can't... I don't know what it is. I know enough. I'm out I've of here. I've heard everything I need to hear, so I'll leave you be. Wait! What about me? Won't you help me out? Uh, perhaps I could. 
What would you like? I'd like to go back to the stud farm, but those cutthroats who want to kill me are still around. Will you help me? Uh, I could, if you tell me where they are. I suppose I could. Do you know where I can find them? I don't, but they must be lurking about somewhere. Well, I'll have a look. But if I find them, then... I understand. Kill the bandits. Woo! Okay, lockpick very easy. I mean, he can't exactly call the guards if I steal this chest full of goods, right? <sighs> Alrighty then, that was one hell of an adventure. So, let's take a look here uh, at the quest log. Ginger in a pickle. Go and tell Captain Bernard what you found out from Ginger B. Kill the bandits. Ginger asked me to deal with the bandits who've been looking for him. Well, it is nighttime. Maybe I can do some subdiffusing. Hmm? Sneak up, fire a bit of the old arrow to the head, sneak around, disappear into the thicket, come back when they go back to bed. This could be fun times. This could be fun times. Is there a camp around here, though? Interesting sight. There's a camp up there to the northwest. Ah, there's a camp down here. I don't think there's actually something I could use at it, though. There's no place I can sleep in here. I'd really like to, um... That just, that just seems like a great thing to start the episode on. Oh, hello. Multiple graves in the middle of nowhere with a beaten down shack in the middle of the forest. Uh... Can I sleep? Yes, I can sleep! I can sleep! God, this episode has been fantastic! So many things have happened! Where do we even start? I don't even remember, to be honest. Uh, was I trying to... Was this the one I got arrested, or was that last time? I don't even know. I think I impressed everybody. I got promo- Oh, I did the- Was to, this the one where I did the fighting, or I have no idea. It's all blurring together in my mind, and that is how you know it's a good game, because it's just incredible. Absolutely, lutely incredible. I drove all over the countryside, found some charcoal burners, hunted down this doofus, we solved a mystery. <gasps> That's right, I had to do the hunt. This is the one where I did the hunt with Hans, and then I saved him, I got ambushed, and we almost died, but I did because I'm good. Oh, Lord, so fun. All right, uh, when's are you returning? It's gonna be, I'm gonna try to get out here and subdiffuge these guys and kill the bandits. Supposedly there's eight of them, I don't know about that. Maybe there's less, but you know, what kind of, what time is it? It's just starting to get dark. I can take off some uh, stuff and be a little bit sneaksy, and we can go out there and try to get some arrows to the head while they sleep with my awesome, awesome, awesome aim. How much longer until I'm better at shooting arrows, honestly? Level two, I need to just go to the practice range and shoot, shoot, shoot. Like actually practice, oh, I have a sword thing? Oh, right, I, I didn't decide on which one of these to do because I was in the middle. It was like getting dark while I was running around. I also have another hunting one. Antlers, oh yeah, I never decided on that. And then I also have two for the main level here. And, ooh, first aid two. Vintage is 25 more uh, effective and you can also apply your healing skill in dialogues. Yes, I would love to be able to heal people and anything that gives me extra options and dialogues, I'm always going to take. In the wilds, you have a plus one bonus on strength, agility, vitality, and speech. Can't be combined with Burger. Burger in towns and villages and their immediate vicinity, you have a plus one bonus on strength, agility, vitality, and speech. See, now, I was going to take Burger for sure. Renegade brand. Penalties on the stats following the release from jail are 20% lower. That's funny. And now I understand why people would take that. But anyway, yeah, I was going to take Burger because I had spent the entire game in towns. But then this whole episode I spent out in the forest, and now I want to take Savage. And I could use Savage uh, to get out there and murder them fellows, which would be pretty cool. Plus one bonus on strength. I, if I got the extra bonus to strength and agility, I may be able to equip that sword. Although I think it was seven agility, and I'm not quite that far. So I'm going to leave this one alone for now. Maybe I'll look at this. Actually... Scout 2 I can't take because I don't have Scout 1. Brute is at level 8. You favor Brute Strength. Eh. Cloak and Dagger. You prefer to remain in the shadows. Plus 2 Stealth Bonus at the cost of 1 penalty. Well, Strength and Speech? Golden Tongue. Oh, okay, I could go full Picard here, but you lose minus 2 Strength. Ah, it's so tough. You've been exceptionally supple and agile since childhood. Uh, however, turning somersaults and falling on your head have left their mark. You have a plus one agility bonus, but a minus one s penalty on speech and charisma. God, these things. You're handsome and charismatic, but you haven't built up your strength. Ah, every single one of these. 
Reading level, oh, your momentary reading level increased by three, but your strength and warfare skills have each incurred a negative one. Wow. I don't know if I'm going to do any of those things. I really don't know. I kind of want to do all of them, of course, but who knows? Ah, <sighs> what a great, great, great time this was be. I cannot, or this has been. I cannot wait to go ambush those guys uh, at nighttime, sneaking around in the forest. That is what I have been gearing myself towards all this time. Sneaksy guy in the dark, shooting arrows in the knee. Uh, until we, oh wait, what do you no, until the. Doing? I have a mind to call the guards. There's no guards here, you doofus. I'll steal your stuff and steal your bed and sleep in it whenever I feel like. Uh, but anyways, when's we returning? All that fun stuff. Until then. Can I not sleep here? Honestly? Yes, I can. I'm just going to sleep for one hour. Uh, so I can get the save, I think, right? I hope this guy doesn't loot me. Uh, and kill me while I'm sitting here sleeping on top of his... I just, like, push him out of the way and take his bedroll. Okay, nothing happened, please. Did it save? It actually didn't. Well, how the hell do I make an episode? Oh, bloody hell, I wanted to end the episode. I don't even know how to save it, I don't think. I can't save game. When's my last load game? Playline 2. Ginger in a pickle. 2247. Ginger found. Well, that was like zero seconds ago, so I should just be able to load that. I'm pretty sure it saved like right after I found him. Um. Yeah. Pretty sure. Okay. Well, I'll just do that then. All right. Uh, when's are returning? Fun time stuff. Until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Is that some new kind of game? Yes. Yes, it is. Very appropriate game. What the hell are you doing? It's a very good question. No problem. It's real. No problem. Come at me. Come at me. I dare you. I dare you. Come at me. Come on. Sup? Sup, boy? That's right. That's right. Mercy kid. Oh, God. Oh, God. I got a bandage. 